the house rule that I had cool. since last week is you confirm fumbles and it will roll automatically and just tell you the result. Just to give you a little less chance to fumble if you're like, you know, a better fighter. And not exactly a house rule, but something I'm going to do a little different is sometimes when I ask for like a strength check or a dex check or something, I might have you roll something other than a d20. If it's really easy, you might roll like 2d6. Or if it's really hard, you might roll 4d6. Something like that. Part of that is just this module has some places where it calls out checks like that, and I kind of liked it. Although it does make it less likely that the, the mage rips open the grate while the fighter <laughs> fails. I just hit points in the party. Goes to Adam. Thirty-six. How did he do that? One. Uh, he rolled really well for his two uh, D eight on his ranger, and he has a fourteen con. Yes, he got four. Twelve. He got twelve on his. But you're in second place. Oh, I'll I'll tell everyone. I, I talked it over with Andrew. We... Bonus. Um, Your audio cut. Did it? Yeah. Something. 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 Bonus. Can you That's hear me now? Heard. Yeah. Now I hit the button. Um, monks will get their dex bonus, um, whereas by base rules they should not. However, a lot of the ways it's it's harder for a monk to stun someone than it technically would be um, in the book. Okay. So I just added a a dex modify like a miscellaneous modifier in armor class, and then I'm assuming. Acrobatics thing won't just work, right? I think I add it. No, it's not going to work at all. Where's your. What? How dare you? I think I already did that. Yeah, I already fixed this. So. Your, your AC is going to look like it's six, but if I actually attack you, it's going to say. Three or two, if it's melee, because the other the other part of it is built in through effects, okay. which only calculate during attacks. Right. I broke something in like the base armor class when I added in armor damage, where it assumes everyone starts at ten, and it constantly like resets it when you equip and unequip gear, because it's like re trying to recalculate your armor class based on armor. So until I fix that, changing that base value won't work. I guess the miscellaneous one technically would have, but honestly, we can do that. It's probably good to have one less effect. But is that that's only for melee, right? Like, if someone shoots a arrow at me that I don't slap away, it's my armor class six or three. Three. Your monk are armor classes all the time. Okay. Even from behind. Uh, your acrobatics is... Should work the same as dex, although it's not smart enough in the automation to not give it to you when you're being attacked from behind and stuff. So sometimes I'll remember and sometimes I won't. Alright, who needs help doing stuff? Or are you all just... Getting your gear set up. Depends how quickly people are going to be ready. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
once Adam gives, gets back, I'll give you a little bit longer spiel about where this guy would be hiring you to go. I still don't know whether or not you guys have technically accepted that. Um, I, had, I had offered to let you guys talk about it and figure out what you want to do, but no one ever did. So I figured, hey, I better have an NPC point you the way. Uh, it may very well be this guy's looking for people to come do this, and that's how you're meeting each other as a party, too. Since I have not heard any uh, alternative suggestions for why you're a party. By me for and glory. Time, at least. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, once you guys have done a little shopping, maybe you can introduce yourselves to each other, give give, give each other the quick highlight on who you are and what you do. And uh, but the the in the generic sense, this guy, uh, Big Don, his name is, has a notice up that he's looking for. You know, brave adventurers to go to Ardenvool, recover the sadly slain people that he sent up there last time. Um, they have various valuables on their bodies. That... Was this was this the first group of people that he sent up there, or was this like the eighth group of people that he sent? Up? Uh, you know. He... He sent more than one group up there before, but this last one had had a problem, whatever that problem might have been. And uh, he wants their bodies recovered. Some of the, some of the property on it is his. Um, and uh, they all had in their contract that you know the stuff would go to him anyway. If they died, bad contract, if you ask me. But you know. They were broke. Uh, in particular, there's a spell book on one of the mages that he... That's the main thing he wants to recover. He's made that very clear. He will be sending a, a guy with you named Moose, who doesn't talk much. He's very large. He's a very large Thorkin man. Human. Uh, but not Arkantian. He's more of the, like the native people of this continent. And uh, some goblin slaves. And some mules. Moose knows the way. Knows where to go. You guys are expected to actually do any of the fighting or anything. Basically, in a lot of ways, your security detail. Um, if you happen to run into other things, that's fine. Uh, they're not going to stick around if you decide you're going to go, you know, dive into the depths of the dungeon. But once you've loaded up the bodies on the mules and and gotten them uh, at least back to the base of the cliff, then your your job's considered complete. And they'll pay you 100 gold for that. And then if there was like, I don't know, other loot you find that's not on the bodies, but you do it while you're with these people, uh, that he, uh, Big, Big Don's claiming 30% of that. And as I told everyone already, if you need, uh, he's not handing you a hundred gold coins, but if there is something you need, he will get it for you up to a hundred gold. And then that will come out of your pay, you know, upon job completion. Um, however, if you die up there, he lays claim to whatever's on your body if you take that deal. So. Did you find a bow, Adam? Did you figure out how to do that? Uh, I did. Is it just a long bow? Is that what I want? I don't know. Sure. I think so. Do, do I want to buy sheaf arrows or flight arrows? Flight arrows go farther. Sheaf arrows do more damage. Usually sheaf is plenty. Don hands you a Don, Don hands you a bow, and the bowstring looks a little bit frayed, and there's like some notches in the wood. Does he still charge me 
75 gold for it. Well, you know, that'll, that'll be coming out of your final pay. He, he doesn't ex- exactly discuss the details unless you ask him. <laughs> Is he going to give me a bunch of a quiver and some arrows too? I mean, at standard d- price, yeah. Cool. Or, you know, run on down to the magic shop. They've, they've got magic arrows for five gold each. <laughs> How many arrows does one usually take on an adventure? A hundred? Uh, how many like things do you think you're going to shoot? I don't know. Like 100. 40? I was going to say I'll bring 40. Let's say 100 would be a lot to carry, but a part of the deal here is they've got pack mules, so you can load some of your stuff on the pack mules going up. Perfect. So in our previous campaign, the number of times that I went above 20 shot and also didn't have some to scrounge up from wherever we were was like... Two times total. Okay, so forty should be more than 40 enough. Forty is more than enough. What kind of recovery rate are we doing for arrows? If the uh, fifty percent, I think it's a fifty percent chance. I'm cool with you not rolling that out if you don't want to, and just assuming you get half of them back. If you start getting into like magic arrows that you fire, then yeah, you could roll for that individually. But and that's assuming you do take the time to find them after the battle, which sometimes you will and sometimes you won't. Right. Also, if you're fighting on the side of a cliff and you're firing arrows, I might say some of those arrows aren't going to be recoverable because they go flying off down the side of a cliff. But just for the sake of reference, though, Adam, you shoot three times a round, I think. So 20 arrows is seven rounds of combat for you. Uh, he shoots two, three, two, three, I okay. believe. Okay. So eight rounds of combat for you. Okay, you'll have to walk me through that when it happens. Okay. I'm not used to this. Well, not so magic stuff. Do you have it? Do you have your bow and arrows there? I do. Um on the weapon page. Or can you go to uh actions weapons? Yeah, I'm I'm on, I'm on actions. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Do you only have what you may not have power, so that's fine. Um, underneath the weapon, there's an ammo. Mm-hmm. Put either 20 or 40, however many you're keeping on you on you versus like on a pack mule. Yeah, I think it okay. can't go above 100. It'll it'll break if you try. It looks like 40 is the max tips okay. I get. So okay. now for a moment, go ahead and roll an attack. Yeah, it just used an arrow. I did. Now, but if you click where the if you click on the check mark side of things, the one that's checked, it will uncheck it, and you get it back. Nice. That's all there is to it. Cool. And also, didn't give any fumble info, which is weird. Maybe it's because they didn't attack anything. Yeah, it showed the miss automatic, but maybe because he didn't have anything targeted. Yeah, but I just did a melee one for him, and it. It's doing it for me. Huh. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Maybe I'm the only one who can fumble right now for some reason. <laughs> okay. I think all your bonuses and stuff will work out correctly too, Adam, for your archer package and your... The crit bonus? Crit severity is on there. Um, yeah. You get plus one ranged. Should work. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Okay. Why did you only have a plus one on your attack? Oh, we got to apply your proficiencies. Uh, You got a bow bonus. You got bow specialization. And (laughs) you have... Okay, so now you're plus four to hit, which... Uh, you got one from bow bonus for the archer package, I believe. You've got three from dex, and then technically it should throw another... Oh, I know why. You're not actually on the combat tracker yet. That's why effects aren't going. Let me get you all on there. Now, do one more attack. I bet it'll be plus five this time. Yeah. I still don't know why I didn't fumble for you, but... 
whatever. Cool. May have been the same because not on the combat tracker. So it it's didn't... possible, but when I rolled it for him, it did fumble. So. Oh, okay. I don't know. Is there a way I know, to hide I'm... weapons on your actions? Yeah. <laughs> well, so actually, if you go back to inventory mm-hmm. and move it to not even equipped to uh, if it's not equipped or carried, it won't show up on actions. Uh, I did that. Still it, does for it him. Make a difference. Yeah. Oh, I wow. I can delete it. I don't think it's going to delete from your inventory, but I can delete it if you want. From the skills? From the actions tab. Oh, I can do that. Okay, I think that'll work. It may end up deleting the item, but I can give you another hand axe if it does, so give it a try. You still have your hand axe, so right now I you're still good. still got it. Cool. Getting it back on there might be harder, but... Eh, I don't think I'm going to use it very often. Yeah, probably not. All right. All right. Oh. I need to give you guys your alignment charts here, Adam. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me... What is this? <laughs> Something I probably will barely use, but I suddenly wanted to. Here's Eric's. Oh, I see. It's like a map with tokens. When I on. drag it to you, does it pop up on you? It pops up. It opens, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Faint. And I'm assuming you guys are only seeing your own, right? Uh, yeah, it only popped up. Yeah. For when you... If you go to the images section, look for a group called alignment charts and see if you only see yours. I only see mine right now. Perfect. Me too. Right. So apparently I can share stuff to just certain people, which is cool. All right, well, Adam, if you look at that, you'll see, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how to undo that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's probably good token lock was on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, unless you're playing a paladin or something else where, pa- where alignment matters, I, I'm not really going to... T- technically, if your alignment shifts, like you lose a level, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I think, um, but I know some people are like, I don't really understand alignment in D and I don't know what to play. I might track it depending on what kind of actions you do. It's usually only big stuff that's going to move it. Like, hey, I murdered that kid who was begging for food on the side of the road or something. <laughs> right. Um, that could shift you in a direction. I thought it would be fun to look at. It's not. Um, it's not something to really got to stress about, though. If you were a paladin or something, then it might matter. Put images in chat. That would be really cool if I could just inline images in chat. Who still needs stuff? All right, Alice. No problem. Did everyone see the shop? Link it again. Link it again. Wow. Oh. Maybe you're maybe you're feeling frisky and you have five thousand gold burning all in your pocket. I'm also going to be curious if the shop interface ends up being fun to use or if it's like, why God would I ever use it? I like the idea of you guys selling stuff off though. And then it's there in case you ever want to buy it back. What's the guy's name that's giving us this job? Big Don is the guy giving you the job. Moose is the name of the guy he's sending with you. Hey, Big Don. Yeah. This is Tiger speaking. I've got this guy hassling me for money. Could I have an extra 14 gold just to get him off my back? 
an extra for you do the job and I'll pay like you. Like you take it out. Of, sorry, not extra, but in advance. I'll still take the flat hundred. Are you worried he's going to follow you up to the cliffs? I'm I'm worried he's up to no good. Yeah. Listen, if the guy messes with you while you're on the job, Moose will take care of him. Otherwise, no. Moose wasn't I'll, a fighter. Oh no! Have you seen Moose? Here, Moose, Moose come here. Talker. Moose oh, is a talker. fighter. Okay. Moose, come here. This this big guy uh, carrying a a like an a beaked axe halberd just walks up and grunts at you, and the guy's like a mountain of muscle. I can't. He's on the combat tracker, but you can't really see his image very well. Wish I had a good way of sharing it. I don't know. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger and Conan. It's, Got guy's it. pretty. Guy's pretty buff. Does he have a sweet accent too? He hasn't he talked speak. yet, so it's hard <laughs> to say. Did anyone else uh, need this guy to provide goods before you go? We're just Captain. Uh, Gamble, man. How long a trip is this? So it's 10 miles to the base of the cliff, which is, assuming you're walking. All right. So I, I don't think, need, like, weeks of provisions or anything. No, I think it's half a day. Then you got to go up the cliff, which, honestly, it's, like, 1,500 feet up, but it's, you know, rough walking. Um, that, that might be another half a day. Honestly. Um, yeah, maybe like four hours. So if you if you got to the base of the mountain and you pushed your way up, the expectation is usually you're getting there like around evening. Uh, and then once you're up top, it wouldn't take long to get where you're going. But there's no way you'd like get all the way back to town in one day. So they're expecting like a two-day trip. You're saying we're going to need some rations. If you want food, yeah. Hey, Big Don, I need 14 gold for rations. I'm not giving you money, but uh, I'll get you some food. All right. Let's see here. What's he going to give you? Three pounds of raisins incoming. <laughs> I think fish maybe is the way to go. Let's see. That's it. There's two things. That can't be right. Do I not have? Apparently, it's just not the provision tag. Okay. Iron rations are oh subtype provisions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's the uh, barrel of pickled fish for three gold. You know what? He's not going to send you with any food, um, but uh, one of the slaves, uh, what's what's his name? Firestarter. His, his job is to cook the meals every night and every day. So you just, you know, you'll get some of that. Sweet. Actually, that, 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 that would go for all of you. You'd be welcome to have that uh, just as part of the that's free essentially it's not going to be the best food ever but you know but neither are the iron rations you'd probably be buying that said bringing your own food is not a terrible idea in case these people all fall off a mountain all right Al, is there anything I can help you with? You trying to figure out spells? I have not gotten to that yet. All right. I All right. am still working on finding items that I want to purchase gotcha. Uh, gotcha. In, in the list. Like I, I went through the book and, and wrote down a bunch of stuff, and now I'm trying to find them in the list. 
Okay. Most of it is probably under gear, parentheses, hackmaster. If it if it's in here at all. I I found yeah, I'm I'm looking stuff so. like backpacks and iron spikes and whatever else. Yeah, I got most of the stuff. Um I just am I'm double checking on, on gold that I'm not going over and it's just taking a while. No problem. Hey, Derek. Yeah. I have the wrong number of spells. I'm not getting my wisdom bonus. Oh, yeah, it doesn't do that automatically. Let me add that in. What should you get? Two more? Uh, I have 17, so... Where is that? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. It's it said if you hover over the various. Oh, I should get two first. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you should have five total, right? Yep. Done. All right. Somewhere what there's the name this... of the place we're in right now. You are in Gosterwick. It's a town of about two thousand. The uh, there's kind of a keep. Uh, the city is kind of built around called the Azure Keep. There are knights in the area called the Azure Knights. And it is that the, the, the lady there is Lady Alexia Basilion. Her brother, Count Basilion, is southwest of here, like south of Newmarket, but in the same valley. And they're both kind of vying for control of the area. He technically controls the area, but not Gosterwick. And then neither of them control New Market. That's considered kind of like a free, kind of its own territory in a way. And what is the in-game date? All right, I have a calendar. Let me find that. I linked that before somewhere. Is it? Uh, because I don't have names for the months, it is April 26th, 2993. And the calendar is there in Discord. The weather today is cool. Ranging between 40 degrees and 63 degrees. No precipitation. Clear skies. Light wind. Basil's backpack is very full. Is this a four seasons kind of place, or is it pretty mild? Uh, it is. Were you saying what's the temperature like in this area? Yeah, like, do we get a winter? Do we get a summer? Yeah, it's it's very similar to, uh, you know, middle middle United States. At least that's what I shot for on the online fantasy calendar seasonal thing. Who knows what it'll turn out to be, but that's what I was going for. So you're basically in a, it's spring right now, I guess. Their calendar is 12 months. Each month is 30 days. And I think there's two weeks of midsummer and like midwinter, summer solstice, winter solstice. Seven days a week called weird names. but they roughly correspond to Sunday through Saturday. Uh, yeah. I don't know what you're cramming in your backpack, but it's very full there, bud. Who? You. Look at the chat window. I don't see anything. Oh, I was Wait. scrolled up. Why does this backpack think it can only hold three pounds? That, that's probably the problem. <laughs> I bet that's supposed to be 30. It's one of those tiny backpacks that women, teenagers wear. To put their tiny dogs in. I hate those things. It's supposed to be 50, actually. I don't know how that was set to three. But I bet you all have that problem. 
I bought a quarter staff and two daggers, and I think I'm good. And one gold of food and provisions. Uh, yeah, anyone who bought a backpack? Did anyone get a backpack yet? If so, I need to go edit it. I got it. I can edit it. Does it let you edit the weight amount on it? It let me edit the... Uh, there's three boxes, a two, a three, and a two, and it let me change that three into 50. Okay, good. Yep. 50 is what it should be. Change it to 50. I'm surprised it lets you edit that. But Yeah, weight of fine. item, weight of maximum weight capacity, and weight of contents. So... Um, if you assign things to be in the backpack, when you click on the backpack, you'll see weight of contents. It'll tell you, based on what was in your inventory sheet assigned to it, what that total weight is, which could be useful just to know. Um, if you end up finding bags of holding and such, it will do the encumbrance correctly if you... Okay, mine isn't the right now, there. then. Your encumbrance looks weird. Let me look at yours. So it should be telling you it's two pounds in the bag, and it says one. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And I was about to throw some stuff. I was going to create a fake hold location for the pack mules and throw some stuff on them, too. Uh, yeah. You know what? I might be able to do better for the pack mule. Okay. And then I could have swore there was a like spell component pouch, but I'm not actually seeing one. Am I just expected to have that if I have? I uh, just just throw yourself a bag. small pouch on there and call it good, and okay. say it's your spell component pouch. Unless they're unless they're rare, expensive ones, um, I'm yeah. not worried about you tracking it. Huh. Yeah, I left things as being carried because that's what should happen. Well, okay. As as soon as I equip the backpack, it f updated. I wonder if there was something oh. weird with that. Okay. I, I don't know why. Equipped. Fair enough. I don't. I don't. I don't know if that's actually what mattered, though. I do know if you if you leave the circle empty, even though it's assigned a backpack, it won't count the weight against the backpack. Sure, I knew but that. I, I don't think I... that was the case for you. Because I did that last session with the bag of holding to get it to not count. Yeah. As weight against me. So So the good news is bags are holding now. You won't have to do that. You'll just put them in the backpack and put them in as the, the carried option. And it will like if you right now literally if you just wrote the word as of holding on your backpack, it would start to treat it like a bag of holding. And only yeah, I remember count when the you of, that at us. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember if I did that. Honestly, the main reason I added it is uh, it's a quick way for me. To... I kept looking at your guys' bags of holding, being like, I wonder how much shit was in there and not wanting to bust out a calculator. Now it'll just tell me if I click on it, which is nice. And it'll warn you if it's going to be over full. All right. Yes, we've seen that. Yeah, you sure have. It's weird that the pictures on the messages are mostly me, except for one that's Basil. Like, I don't know why, because he's been the one doing it most of the time. I might see about just rolling your starting spells here. Yeah, I'm... I'm having trouble finding... I wanted to get a hood and lantern and some chalk... I think those are the only things that I'm looking for that I haven't found yet. Uh, hooded lantern. I can throw a hooded lantern at you. I was going to say, it's actually lantern hooded. And don't forget to get a one or two things of lamp oil. I just threw a hooded lantern at you. I found fine. <laughs> I could, just couldn't find Okay, it. fair enough. Just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Chalk is not on there. You'll just have to create some yourself. And I don't know if lamp oil's on there. Lamp oil is on it there. Is. He said he had found that before he found the lamp. Okay. So. Yeah, usually you want to do... I've had campaigns where I forgot that, so... There's a lot of... Uh... Oh, you might want some flint and steel while you're at it. It's always nice to be able to light that lantern. Then again, you're a mage. 
I gotta I gotta figure out a way to do cantrips that don't suck. I had so much fun oh, with well, cantrips for him, not for me. in the la like back in the day. Sure. Uh, as a sole practitioner, I threw the book out right away. Um, you after you get done rolling spells, you said you were gonna do something for the pack mules. Right. Let's see if this will actually be good or not. Pack mule. I create something called a pack mule. I'm going to give it a picture of a mule. My entire computer is going to lag as it goes through every image. There is a mule. All right, if you're looking at the Gostrowick map, I'm going to throw a mule out in the middle. Oh, wait, you know what? This might, this might be really small because of the scale of this map. Well, you'll see uh, by the dock, there's a mule. Uh, In yeah. the water? Yeah. And yes, if I double click on it, I see like an inventory list and a pick lock and break lock at the top. If oh, let me, uh, sorry, let, let me unlock it. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I have to. I think I have to make you active in the combat tracker for you to interact with it, add and remove things. No, I, I can drag stuff right now. Well, I just made you active, but... Oh, well, thank you. You know what? Actually, let me try making someone else. See if you can still drag stuff. I can, like, ask to drag stuff, it looks like. It looks like I can drag it. I can. Okay, yeah. cool. Like maybe it's, maybe it's just, it might just be the no, rolling no, no, the pick no, no, lock no, no. part. Not moving it. Moving stuff to it. Oh. Because I just put three of my four standard rations on it to get the weight off of me, for instance. Oh, okay. And I'm going to do the same with torches. It might uh, be the... Uh, yeah. It I might be, be rolling the lockpick that matters who's active. Sure. I won't be able to change the number of stuff on it other than dragging each one individually, but that's fine for the moment. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that way. I, I, you could always tell me and I can edit it too. Could, uh, but... I mean... All this really amounts to is a party sheet that's uh, sure. separate. Hey, it brought me back under weight allowance. That's the main thing. And it, we'll we'll just treat this as the uh, there's there's going to be four pack mules. Um, we'll just treat this as all of them. It's the placeholder. Someone keeps trying to move it. Um. What was the cost of buying a scroll to potentially learn a new spell again? 300 gold, typically, assuming you can find it. Um, in this town... I don't have that much right now. So yeah, I was going to say, it would, it would depend on the spell. Yeah. Uh, necromancy is not outright banned, but it is not... It's frowned upon, so you're probably not going to... Not that you're into this magic anyway. I was going to say, not that I'm going to ever find, look for that, but okay. Animate dead and stuff like that would be rare to find. Also, compulsion type effects, like um, charm person, are also pretty highly frowned upon, so those would be harder to find. Not impossible, though. You just got to know people. Okay. Like I'll Big look Don. up what it was. Big Don seems a little shady. He's also very fat. Yeah. Um, I might be buying the materials to scribe a spell, though. Oh, that's cool. Mostly because he said there's a spell book he wants back, and he had the spell book back, but I want to look at it first. He did, he did say that, and he did not stipulate. So, sorry, sorry, guys. We're going to need to take one more day before we go back down the mountain. So the goblins they're sending with you are named Torchlighter, Pack Handler, Mule Loader, and Firestarter. Most slaves apparently have names based on their jobs or their their parents' jobs were. And then there's Moose.
I did roll spells for you, Al. You can take those if you wish, or you could um, pick some. They're not terrible. They're not the best. Which honestly is pretty standard for first level mage or so. Did he get any power words? <laughs> nope. Is there anything you really envision uh, yourself doing as a battle mage? Like you're like, man, I really, I really wanted to do them. I, mean, I really wanted to cast magic missiles, or you know, whatever. Uh not in particular. Just that you know, I, I intend to try and do some of the spell queuing for sure. Right. Right. So spells that would lend itself to that. And any of them technically do. Um, Although at first level you only queue it for a round, so that's iffy. No, it's it's like or is it two. two. It's a round okay. plus one. Gotcha. It's like your gotcha. level plus one. Gotcha. Uh that reminds me, you two mages should add a spell book to your inventory. Yep. Yeah, where is that? Uh, under items, there's one that's just spell book. Yeah, just type in the word spell. I think it says traveling spell book, but you can rename it. Or honestly, you can create an item. It's Because theoretically, I should unlock it for you so that you can edit it. When it's unlocked, like I just unlocked yours, Eric. Are you allowed to edit the like effect just... features? Yes. Not well. The thing below it. It looks like it probably is effect features, but that's uh, yeah, I can. Well, okay. yeah, I can. I can edit the text below, and I can edit the name of it. Okay, actually, you probably can't edit effect features too, but but you don't want that. So that'd be a good place to track whatever spells are in the book. That way, uh, yep. We were finding that if you put them all on your character sheet, it gets slow. At least once you're up to okay. seventh level or whatever it was. Yeah, uh, there it goes. I'll give you a spell book, Please. Um, um, and I have unlocked it, so now you should be able to edit it. Uh, you always get read magic and write. You will get three offensive spells. Uh, the list is actually pretty long. But if it helps, just link. That didn't work, did it? I don't know what the hell just happened in chat, but... Uh, I linked a table in there, Al. If you click on that, it'll show you all the first level offensive spells. Or at least... Actually, I don't know if it is all of them, but those are the ones available to you to start with. Um, Phantasmal Fireball, you could try to take, but your guy just won't know how to learn it. It can be in a spell book, though, if you really want. Can you cast it directly from the spell book or from a yeah, scroll? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you cast it once. No problem. Nice. Uh, I don't know if everybody's seen. Dave might not have been here when I said it. There are private channels in Discord now for each of you. Right now it should have... I think everybody except Eric has a plot hook and everybody has rumors. I didn't have time to think of one for Eric. Although I did find it weird that you have an identical twin sister. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what that means. What's your guys? Psychic. What's my guys what? Comeliness. You oh, you're pretty. Yeah. I don't know. No, I did not get the psychic hit though. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll figure that. Well, you know, with Alter Self, there's a lot of as a metamorpher, there's a lot of ways you could be identical to your sister, I don't know. <laughs> Gender really is fluid. I specifically did not take that spell currently. 
All right. <laughs> How many spells did you say again? Three. Plus read magic and write. Which I already put on your sheet. I didn't put them in your spell book, but. Anyone else have business in town? Oh, you know what? While well, Al's picking spells, how about you just, uh, you know, briefly introduce your characters? I'm going to go down in Discord order, which happens to be alphabetical. Adam. Yeah. Why don't you tell everyone about uh, whoever the hell you are? Tiger. Tiger is uh, from that island. The big one. The the one due east. What's that called? Uh, Arcan. Uh, Mithrun. 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 Yeah. The, like Came the out west. like the main the main continent. Well, it's smaller, but it. I don't even know if it's a continent. Either way, it's it's where the civilization comes from. Yeah. I've got their accent, whatever that sounds like. Yeah. As far as what I'm doing here, um, just looking for work. I'm not a very uh, charming kind of guy. Not good with money, as you'll soon uh, find out. Uh, yeah. Y you uh, notice that he's been basically... Begging's not quite quite the right word, but he's been uh, taking whatever food he can get. Um, he's he's pretty damn ugly. He's always squinting at you, <laughs> like he can't quite see you. And what else would they know about him? Eh, that's probably it. Yep. And he's got a bow got that he seems to oil a lot or something. Uh, Why can't I seem to drag off the spell list onto my sheet? Am I the only one who can do that? I don't know. I'll I'll do it. It might be where you're dragging it. It's got to kind of be down. I don't know, honestly, but I'll I'll do it. Which spell? This is going to start with magic missile. Magic missile. All right. Done. Done. Um, and then I was going to do um, yes again. Oh, how's Tiger dressed? How's he, how's dressed? he dressed? Yeah. Very shoddily. Yeah, he doesn't no have armor. Ar no armor. Okay. <laughs> right. Just making that clear. Yep. That's okay. I don't have armor either. True. Did you, did, were, you, were you about to tell me a second one now? Sorry. Yeah, I was going to go with uh, Fireball Sidewander. Very good. You get one more. Hey, oh, no, he's doing his spells. Hey, Dave, why don't you, wait, you see there? Pull my video. Yeah, Dave, yeah, why don't you tell us about your guy? All right. Uh, Rothbert is a cleric of... Uh, let me get this right. Uh, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. I don't Lucrean, remember. What it is. Lucrean, oh um, yeah, Luke. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's Luke Graham, but I'm not going to be an expert on pronunciation. Either. Okay. Is Lucrean. that the god of which god is that? I, I want to say that's like I, wealth or something, right? Yep, that's the the god of uh, the god of coin. Um, he's a uh, he's a uh, Arcantian. And uh, he's he's got himself a war hammer and uh, some hide armor, uh, probably because that's all he could afford. Uh, you think he'd uh, really like to get into a better suit of armor at some point? Uh, he's about uh, average height, just into his twenties. He's good looking. Uh, looks a little older though. Looks a little. Looks a little. He's good looking, but you know. Age is something that hangs on him a little. Yeah, going a little prematurely gray. Yeah, but it's just distinguished. You know, his uh, his uh, comeliness is, is kind of up there. Oh, and whereas you guys notice, uh, Tiger's constantly like going for the scraps at the table, maybe when you're all sitting around meeting each other, because he apparently can't afford to buy his own 
food and drink here. Uh, you're noticing Rothbard's just like really packing it in. Like he'll he'll order more food, more Al, and it's probably working out uh, great for Tiger. The way I the way I wanted to run that, Derek. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Is uh, it, it was a compulsion to cook slash eat. So I took a bunch of uh, the culinary art skill because yeah. apparently you have to have culinary art is a prerequisite to cook. Don't ask me why they come in that order, but the book wow. says. So, uh, uh, my preference is to prepare my own food. Okay. And if, uh, if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys want me to cook for you, sure. I'll be glad to, but I like cooking. I got, uh, I got some skill in that area. I have some minor skill in that area. I got a pretty, well, I, I guess I just have culinary arts. So I have the theory, but not the practice. The true Iron Chef competition is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, final uh, spell it, will be sleep, I think. Sleep, all right. Anything else they should know about you? Uh, obviously, I'm a, I'm a cleric uh, of, of the uh, of Lucreon. Um, let's see, probably not. Uh, I look pretty fit. And uh, I'm looking at my talents to see if anything that... Uh, would you have would mentioned you... that thing that you really, really hate, or do you not uh, advertise it? What thing I really, really hate? Your kit. Oh, oh yeah. It probably, probably at some point you, you heard me uh, grumbling about them dead and how they just need to be all wiped out. They're not. Just They're like not half halflings. Things. Yeah, yeah, halflings and undead. Sure. Uh, But uh, the, undead, the one uh, halfling in the tavern gives you a weird look. Undead or a scourge and should be wiped uh, from the face of the planet. Oh, man. It's a good thing those aren't halfling slaves. Oh, this that's going to get real interesting, Andrew. All right, well, let that, let's, yeah, let's skip to that. Uh, Andrew, tell us about Fane. So Fane is... A Arcantian human monk. He is like 16 strength, 18 dex, and he's got a 16 charisma and an 18 comeliness, so he's ridiculous. Uh, he's got a lot of skills in, in performing arts and telling jokes in oration. I don't know if there's halflings about, but if there are, you would know that I hate them. Um, they're, I am they're... just, uh, you know, wandering adventurer looking for fortune and glory, basically. Psychotic aversion is you try to get away from them, right? Or I don't it... need to kill them. I just want nothing to do with them. Okay. I don't want to work with them. I don't trust them. I don't like them. I may kill them, but gotcha. I, it didn't seem like I need to. Um, and I normally have a drink in my hand because that was pretty awesome for Eric last game. <laughs> <laughs> he, okay. He, he does normally have a drink in his hand. Yeah, he also does not wear much. See the drunken monk style? I hope yeah. so. Whatever works. Once I get to level two, I can start using alcohol bottles as my improvised weapons. And we'll go nice. All right, Eric, tell us about you. Uh, hold on. Uh... Oh, excuse me. Uh, Leland, a human Arcantian, uh, not quite aristocratic, but not far off it. Because uh, they don't really have aristocracy. They do the city leaders, and he's the son of one of them. Um, sole practitioner, metamorpher, so very much believes there's only one right way to do things usually. All their magic is useless in that regard. Um, I'm trying to remember what else was in there. The uh, very self-absorbed, as will become apparent usually. Yeah. Talks with a bit of a lisp, but uh, very good looking. Yeah. 
Not like this Tiger guy. So we got uh, three really good looking persons and uh, one not at all. One just <laughs> up. One, uh, oh god, right, what is so that, that thing? So that was the good mage, and now we have the useless mage. What's up with you, useless mage? You know what I don't think we might have applied for some people was the charisma effect on comeliness. Yeah, I don't think that got applied technically. I can knock mine down by two accordingly. Um, did it not have comeliness on HMTK? It did. Yeah. Okay. Mine, mine wasn't effective. Oh, that's right. We just didn't have the it we, the rolls on the dice bot where we didn't have it. Okay. I mean, whatever. I, I, I'm not asking anyone to change it. It's just uh, popped in my head. And then last we have Al. Tell us about your dude. Sure. Um, my name is Basil. I, my father was a, um, a well-regarded librarian in... Fuck, what was the name of the town? Hold on, I gotta pull Narcilion. Wait, no. It affected my charisma. I originally had a 12. Okay, if you did an HM, HMTK, you're probably fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, yes. was Narcilion. Narcilion. Um, so, I mean, most of my time growing up was spent, spent helping out in the library, so I read a lot of books. Um... You know, I, I know some uh, languages. I find them fascinating. Uh, and then I went to a, a good um, university for training. Uh, I'm mostly interested in, in the adventure and um, looking into, you know. Well, so you said that you'd sent hooks and stuff, but where did you send that? In your channel in Discord. So I hadn't read that before now. Okay, no problem. Um, it, you don't need yeah, it for so time. Okay, so, but I, yeah, I got to do that. Um, but I mean, basically, I, you know, I, I also have some knowledge of some of the um, ancient stuff of the area. And you know, I've heard some vague rumors that I'm just curious if they uh, have anything behind them. So... I don't know if that's included in the rumors that you sent me. Probably not, but that's what we had talked about last week. That's basically my guy. And he does wear armor, despite being a mage. Yeah. The only leather right now I can wear, I think, ring mail. Can you tell the difference between a regular mage and a battle mage? Is that something normal people will just recognize? Sure. Okay. I mean... Uh, I realized it wasn't on that HTML file I sent you, Derek, but my uh, lucky talent is uh, D20s. I th didn't I write that? I uh, know I get. I, I know for someone. I... Wait, I'm okay. Rothbard. So I changed it to D20. Unless you did it, I think I did it because I seem to. I remember doing this. Um, right. on, on your saves, I gave you a plus one mod down the line. Saves? So they all look like they're one better. Oh, okay. Um, that's just, I built it in for that because it's easier. Then you don't have to try to remember it for those. Okay. What else is that going to affect? Is that going to affect to hit rolls? No, it's only stuff that only affects you. So it won't affect to hit rolls, but... Unless you're trying to hit yourself. Uh, it used to be really hard in Bard's Tale if you were a monk. Skill mastery rolls or honor dice if they end up ever end up being D20s, I guess I would get it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What about turn checks? When it's a D20, yeah. You know, I did say I was going to do some stuff like some of the skill checks would be uh, like 2D6 or 3D6 sometimes. I would no. say, though, I, w I would not let lucky <laughs> or honor affect those rolls because that would really skew how that works. If okay. I did it that way. Um, if I do a straight up D21 though, then sure. Okay. Alright. Open doors, same thing. Turn on dead. It's ever D20. We just all we were the oh, not turn people undead. mine. 
unemployment office when this job came along. I, I guess so. And that is how our party found found it. That's what it sounded like. So, do robes not have a hit point? I think or am I reading one. it backwards? They should have one, but it's possible. I don't know. I, it's been forever since I actually had armor on. I don't remember how it worked on the yeah. front. Um, the only I robe see I'm see. Okay, so there's a robe that's in gear that doesn't have the hit point. There's a robe slash garments in armor. That one does. Which is what I grabbed. Does it not show the number of hit points left, or does it show the number of hit points taken from it on the front page? I don't know. I guess I'll on main. I think Sorry. it tells how much damage it's taken. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember. All right. There you guys are. You do plenty of drinking and or eating on your own dime. You're probably at the golden shit, what's at the golden something in. Gotta get this name right. I'll never remember if I don't do it. Nope. It's not golden. The yellow cloak in. That's what I was. Let's see if I can find it. It's twenty one, the yellow cloak. Sun Acolyte in. I wish I could ping on the map. I found it. But... Right. I'm drawing an arrow to it all the way from the horse. Down here. Yellow cloak in? No. Okay. Yep. Margo the red. If you want your own room, it's a gold for the night. If you want a bunk bed in the dorm, it's silver. If you have no money, I don't know what you do. Good luck, Adam. I found a nice bale of hay in in, in the alley. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. He's like, I just want to go to the dungeon. I need money. Anyway, uh, y'all can decide, you know, how much you're living it up or not. Why can't I scroll right? Well, Spain yeah. will get a private room. Because Fane doesn't have gear needs. Hell yeah. The monks live in large. Uh, come morning, Moose is waiting outside with the pack mules and the four goblin slaves. Just You probably wake up and eat a quick breakfast and he's just sitting there staring at you from the street, waiting. Looking bored. He, he has a horse, by the way. You're all walking, though, unless you have your own horse. No, I cannot afford a horse. And yeah, I do not. Anything else. Yeah, level one, good times. All right, let me find my map. wonder what the weather like is today. Oh, shit, it is a new day. Let's find out. This might be the most important. How do I advance the day? Plus? No. Plus. Yeah, that worked. 40 to 60 degrees. So it's probably a chilly morning right now. Otherwise, it's pretty much... It's, it's really basically like yesterday. Sunny. Doesn't look like it's going to rain. Not much wind. Perfect day for an adventure. Birds are chirping. Let's go. And then Point I the way, boots. and then I found my map real quick. Side view? No. Cliff face. Yes. No. Where are my pins? Uh. Why? Well, I would like to ride one of the mules across the lake if I can. <laughs> well, you'll stay dry. Like how tall they are. Their legs probably 
stick out of the water. I'm already off to a bad start here because... Oh, I bet you I... Did I open this map earlier? One of my maps doesn't have any of the pins in it. One moment. Where it changes. That fixed it. All right. Keep an eye on that. Changes. Apparently, I renamed things at some point. There it is. All right, so you guys spend uh, the better part of the morning walking up to the uh, base of the cliff. It's a pretty easy path, though. There's a road that goes there. Um, I want to say it's like roughly 25 miles per day that you guys travel if you're unencumbered. I don't know if anyone's heavily encumbered or at a move rate less than 12. Um, but roughly it would be probably around, let's say you leave right in the morning at like six or seven in the morning. Um, it'd probably be about one o'clock when you get to the base of the base of the cliff. What you see is this, oh, I already put it in there, I guess. Got the big old waterfall coming down from up top. Even from down here, you can see the pyramid up there, uh, which it turns out is where you're headed. Um, you got the big statues of Arden and Vool kind of carved into the side of the mountain there. Arden is the warrior, Vool is the sorcerer. And uh, if you see, there's kind of this path that is not to scale. Uh, this path that winds its way up there, that's how you're going to be getting to the top. Uh, as, you're, as you're kind of two miles out from the base of the waterfall, you can start to hear it. Um, as you finally get close and close the distance... Um, and get like right up near the base of it. It's it's loud enough that you kind of have to shout to hear each other. Um, there's a constant mist in the air around here, and uh, it looks like the, the the path itself is probably going to be a little bit slippery to climb just from the constant spray of water. Uh, right here, actually, you see kind of the remains of a tower. Uh, Moose just seems to be riding right past it, though. He has no interest in that. Moose probably hasn't said a damn word the whole time. Let's keep going. Very good. Get my crap ready here. Tiger's keen eyes spot a bunch of what look to be entrance ways in the rock. There are. You do see occasional uh, caves poking out here and there. <clears throat> I ask Moose if those are anything to be concerned about. He looks at you, shrugs. And then taps his taps his axe. Uh, he dismounts from his horse when you get to the base of the trail, and uh, starts leaning up by the reins. The goblins and uh, you know each take a pack animal and start leading it, but Moose kind of stops and motions for you all to get in front of him, since essentially that's what you're here for. I'm assuming all right. you're, you're all okay with that. I will do that. Yes. 
Hell yeah. Uh, looking around, the the trail seems clear. You start you start up it. Um, it's about God. What did, what did I say it was? Fifteen hundred feet, I think, to the top. Although obviously you're going up a winding way, you're climbing. It's rough terrain, um, so it's taking you a while. It's going to be a few hours. Uh, you make it to the kind of the first you know switchback point so far it's been going good uh you're actually right near the uh you could almost reach out and touch that statue of vool where you're at of the, the statue of the what uh, vool the sorcerer the mage, oh, the okay. mage on the right are we right here on the map the purple, purple arrow i gotta open your map because i'm looking at a different one hold on oh yeah that is yeah oh, that's about yeah. where you're at okay all right keep going yep I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just uh, telling you where you're going as I'm rolling randering, blah, 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 wandering monster checks for you. Uh, you're about halfway up the next trail when uh, Tiger's keen eyes spot above you the dragon. Uh, these guys. They're, they're definitely human, but they're wearing... They're really shaggy and unkempt. They're wearing, uh... Like, loincloths, essentially. And, you know, tattered animal hides. Not like hide armor. Um, and they seem to have sp spears. And they're kind of like... It's a setup. It looks like Tegan's people. They're up above you. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Uh, they're kind of up above you, like they're like they're crouched behind rocks, looking at you guys. Um, probably, probably, unless someone has really good observation, I'd say probably Tiger's the only one who's noticed them so far. It's maybe half so a dozen. It's hard to be so sure. They're like above us, like directly above us. Let me let me p pull up a map here. So I'm, I had to go searching just for like cliff maps. Because uh, I can't possibly make all the maps I could ever need for random encounters in this. So this 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 map probably is not going to be really a perfect fit for things, but uh, we'll use it. We'll use this one, maybe? Yeah, this will work. Uh, let's do this one. So let's say... Let me get the party on here. I don't know what your marching or marching order is, but hopefully you can all see the map. Mm -hmm. See what time of day would it be? It's afternoon probably. And then let me get these other guys on here. Yeah, Ooh. you said it took us half a day to get here, so Moose is probably. Ryan, not far behind you guys, and then the uh, I'm not going to put all the animals on here, but you're kind of single file in it. Make sure the scale's right. 10 foot squares? Yeah, those are 10 foot squares. Okay. Um, would Fane probably be further up in the front? Or is it really? I can't move my guy. Rothford. Oh, God damn it. I turned off token lock on the thing, too. It must not save that when you export. All right, you can move your guy now. Um, so I'm going to get these other guys on here one sec. At least what you see.
They're they're doing their best to crouch behind some boulders up there. And they're watching you go by. Or you know, you haven't gone by yet, but But Rothbert has, Rothbert has seen them with his observation roll. That's fine. I have not seen them. And I'm continuing on my way. Tigger yells, hold up. There's guys looking down on us. Moose lifts his hands and the goblins all stop behind him. Tigger's going to fire a warning shot at these guys. Oh. Fine warning shot. Are you putting it in one of them? Or? I'm going to aim at the guy in the front. <laughs> so, so just warning a shot. Warning shot right to the left eye. <laughs> All right, so those of you who haven't spotted it, you just see Tiger say, hold up, and he kind of gets his bow out and just <laughs> aims somewhere up above you guys. And uh, yeah, go ahead, roll the, do your thing. Yeah, well, that hit. You rolled a five and a hit. Like I said, they're not wearing any armor. Did I roll the right thing? Yeah. Yeah. How do we do damage? Oh, it's the thing on the right. It's been so long. It's the first one, right? Uh, 1d8p? Yeah, I don't think you've rolled yeah. damage since your Freddy Krueger glove. I have not, no. Here you go. You, uh... What's your point blank do? I don't know what that. Means. I, I know. I know you're not point blank, but I'm. Uh, point blank gives you uh plus one to hit within thirty feet. No damage bonus ever. Okay. I don't believe so. All right. Well, just you'll have to try to remember that, Adam. Whenever you're within thirty feet. Okay. Which you're not right now. You were. Right. Forty. Forty-five. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Just oh, I should have given you actually a penalty for cover. Um, given that you just barely hit uh, without the cover, t that that actually missed. I prefer to miss, so it worked out. Okay. You could have just said, "I'm gonna miss." Aww. You just invalidated my campaign record, which had campaign first blood. Oh record. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I was gonna have someone track kills. Every session. It sounds like Andrew volunteered for right now. Thank you. At the moment, I'm tracking everything, but I might lose interest. We'll see. I am, I am curious to know total number of kills, and I'm curious to know who got killing blows. Um, there was something else I was going to have people track, someone track, and I don't remember it, but maybe I will before we're done. Uh... Part of it, part of the reason I'm tracking kills is for experience, and part of it's for honor, and part of it's just because it's fun at the end of uh, eight months or whatever to know how many things you murdered. In the afternoon, halfway up the next switchback, when Tiger spots shaggy and unkept humans with spears, Basil, it's a setup. It looks like Tiger's people. Tiger, hold up. There's guys looking down on us. Combat encounter one. Tiger's ambush. Campaign first blood bonus. Tiger fires a warning shot, shooting caveman nine in his left side. Revoked cover bonus negates this. Hit. Revoked. Yeah, so you uh, you 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 bounce an arrow right off one of the rocks he's hiding behind, and uh, whereas previously they'd been you know what what passed for stealthy for them, which which basically meant crouching and you know walking on all fours mostly. Um, mm -hmm. Now they've started hooting and hollering. Uh. Which? What is the scale of these squares? The squares that you can see are 10 feet, but you can draw an arrow to anything and it'll show you the distance. And I move 10 feet per movement rate or something? You I don't know move... why movement is so hard for me. I don't know. Yeah, it's 10 feet per inch. Like 15 squares? So if you're 15, you move 150 feet in a round, or uh, or you off. move or you move 15 feet per segment is really just just think of the number you see in your movement as how many feet you move per segment. All right, so yeah, let's start actual combat in ca in case more people are doing things. Um, so I'm gonna hit this button. 
And uh, if you are firing or moving or whatever, go ahead. Andrew, you can start moving on one if you want. Or you can roll initiative and then just deal attack whenever you get there. Can Tigger move and shoot? I think you can with your archer package. You have the thing where you can... Uh, uh, actually, you can move, shoot, and move. Just like the elves can because of your archer package. Uh, and you either get to half your rate of fire or half your movement distance. So you can move half your move, fire, move the other half of your move. Or you can like move a quarter of your move, fire, move a quarter of your move, and fire. Something along those lines. Does an archer can move up to half his allowed distance, fire, and move again, even if he's not an elf? Okay, so yeah, normally people could fire at half their rate and move at half their rate. Basically, by giving up half their attacks, they can move half their distance. You can move your full distance and get half your rate of fire. And you could take your shot anywhere in between there, whereas most people would have to move and then stop and fire. Or fire, fire and then is, finally move. My rate of fire is... It's two on one round, and it's three on the next, which anytime you have it, that's just going to be one for now. What? So basically, if you want to move and shoot, you can get one shot at any point during your movement. You're round out. The... Half of three is one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, what it's going to amount to for you is you can you can take... If you're going to move during the round, you can take a shot at any point during that move. Continue moving throughout the whole thing. And when I roll initiative, I need to add that movement into it, right? You don't even roll initiative for bows. I mean, you click the button, but if you're taking two shots, they're going to go on one and six. If you're taking one shot, because you're moving, it's really going to go whenever you want. Wherever you are in your movement, when you want to fire, that one's going to be up to you. And okay. if you're taking three shots, it's going to end up being on one, four, and seven. Okay. It will take care of it. If you... On your sheet, under actions, mm -hmm. when you're like hovering over the attack button, or, or maybe the initiative button, and you right-click... It's the init button. Right-click right on that yellow you, button. You'll see a bunch of arrows. Specify rate of fire. Mm -hmm. You can pick one, two, or three. Honestly, you only need to hit it if it's more than one. Otherwise, you can just click the init button. If you hit two, it's going to automatically put you in at one and six. If you hit three, it's going to automatically put you in at one, four, and seven. So and really, it's all be two one round and three another round. That you're going to have to keep track of yourself. You're going to have to. You're going to have to tell it every round whether you're firing two or three times. Does it start with two or does it start with three? Starts with two. Okay. All right. If you're going to move and that. shoot and shoot at some point during there, honestly, set your initiative to one and just tell me when you're firing or I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it's because basically you're going to get to go whenever you want at that point. Okay. All right. So, uh, Thane's running like a speed demon. Tiger, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Probably shooting some shit. I'm moving up. Yeah. Okay. What's Rothbert doing? I'm moving. All right. I'm how, about, how about how do you say your name again, Eric? Was it Leland? Helps find not muted. Yeah, effectively Leland. Okay. All right. What are Leland and Basil doing? Actually, is it Basil or Basil? Uh, Basil. Okay. Basil Exposition, right? Exposition, yes. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, he's, I mean, you know, I've only got four spells, so I've got to use them well, so I'm, I'm not doing anything yet. I, I am I am uh, protecting Moose. Hey, you, you, you got a short sword. All right. right? If you guys are you guys are both at 99, I just want to make sure you were intending to be there before. I... Yeah. Uh-huh. No, I was deciding which spell I'm casting. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's going to save me a lot. Okay. All right. So, Tiger, uh, what's, I know you're moving somewhere. What's your plan? You're going to move in your full move? I'm going to go right here. Okay. Can I get behind these rocks? 
Yeah, I'll give you some cover. So around three, I'll delay you. Around uh, three, you'd be able to fire if you choose to. Okay. Where's Rothbert uh, headed? I am. I'm just booking it. What's your? I'm going to be. It's twelve. I'm going to be. See the red arrow right over there. Yep. I'm going to be right there on ten. All right. Just go ahead and move yourself. And okay. I'll, I'll work mm-hmm. it backwards if I need to. Okay. Uh, looks like on one, maybe a spell was going off. Yep. All right. Um, technically, it was before they moved out of range. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Make sure I do this right. So I hit the casting specialty spell effect and then the spell. Yes. Although... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, if it's because you need the caster level part of it, yeah. Good, it did. Okay, because it did one point three for damage. So yeah, uh, Fane gets larger. You probably, you know, I'd probably say you're moving uh thirty percent faster too, Fane, because your legs are a little longer now. Okay. Unless the spell says something about that, it's gonna just multiply your damage for you when you hit things. Yeah, it already did the damage multiplication for you. Uh, feels weird. Bane's running like hell. You can add an extra third percent if you want. Uh, Tiger, you well, get behind get me to about there by ten. Okay, Tiger, you get uh behind the rock, and you look up, and that caveman that you gave the warning shot to is. Uh, probably about here right now, running. <laughs> okay. Um, but the other three are like shouting down at you guys and waving spears. I don't like that. I'm gonna shoot at them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, they are, they are not speaking words that would be understand. Holy shit, your guys. Uh, Good at hitting. You actually get a bonus on called shots as you level up, or trick shots. Maybe that's different. Trick shots are different. Um, but yeah, called shots, dude. Even if it's just the like two body at minus two, it doubles your threat range to nineteen twenty. So I'm more likely to get crits. Gotta yep. Get those, gotta get those big crits. Crit bonus. Yeah. All right. You you put an arrow into him and. Into his shoulder. Yep. I do crap damage. What's up with that? You're gonna just, do it. You're just gonna do a D8. Is that just what archers do forever? If you can get yourself a composite bow, you could add your strength in. If you can get your magic bow. You get to add that. If you get magic arrows, you can add that. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. That under normal expensive. circumstances, yeah. Under normal circumstances, an archer doesn't get any strength bonuses. However, keep in mind, a, a guy with a sword might swing at once for a D8 plus like four. Or something. You're firing two arrows, which is effectively two d8. Or three. Sometimes, arrows. sometimes you're gonna be firing three arrows, three d8. So Sweet. individual hits are less, but you can you can pack it does, in. Does does caveman eight only have one shoulder, or is your entire program garbage? Uh, yes. How's my record supposed to be accurate? Yes. I can't. I. I can't scroll maps right. I can't have to use my middle mouse. All right. So the... Yeah, the scroll button isn't working at all. Uh, the, the caveman... Is that the one you just shot? No. Uh, around the time Rothbert's running by down there, uh, this caveman chucks a spear down at him. Which means he no longer has a spear. Is this a ranged attack? There it is. Luckily, Rothbert's holding his shield up clearly as he runs. And the, uh,
the spear clunks into it and then falls harmlessly to the ground. Um, we don't currently see damage to shield like we used to then. Interesting. Just to let you know. I wonder why. Because yeah, we used to get the shield takes X, then X gets through. This we yeah. I you know what? I might be hiding rolls that I didn't use to hide. Fair enough. Just my shield has that damage on it. Yeah, you took four. I, I can start just saying. Uh, no, I'm fine. Not super worried about it. I didn't know if you wanted it there or not. And I, I actually I'd let you know about changes. Did you see the attack roll though? Yeah. Well, why is it, why is it hiding the see, shield? Yeah, we see the he rolled an eight at d twenty plus two, got ten, which is hit AC five versus my AC of three. Yeah, so it yep. shows you like shows you all that. I, I don't know. It's probably a setting that's different when I set up the new campaign. That's for some yeah. reason hiding that. Uh, let me just add a note, and I'll look at that for next week. Because I'd, I'd rather you see it, because sometimes you guys are like, well, that isn't working, right? Players not seeing shields. Okay. It's the... I did make crits hidden, though. Okay. Um, for two reasons. One, there's those crit side effects that uh, you shouldn't always know about. And the other reason is I, I put in the option for you to... Uh, Spend honor to lower the severity. So I could tell you what severity you get, but without telling you the exact crit effect, and then you can make the decision if you want to do it. I also added in the ability now I could do HM crit. Uh, what is it? Like piercing, severity 20, in whatever location 2000 is, and it'll. Well, you guys don't see what it just spit out, but I can manually do crits now to make it uh, compatible with you guys spending honor for that. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, the the pack guys aren't doing shit. It just that just means the, that uh, when Andrew tells us he's cold, we won't know that means he's got a broken spine. It's true. You'll just have to guess. Uh, the caveman who just got shot. Uh, what do you think the range on a spear is? It can't be good. 10, 20, 30. Oh, yeah, your range is in yards out here, too, by the way, so. You're, you're probably not going to have to worry about range penalties. This guy's throwing at you while you're hiding behind a rock. Does that Andy's, mean his. Andy's at range, minus two for the range. Does that mean he's short range for. Uh, or, or his uh, point blank is 30 yards? No. <laughs> no, okay. I don't think so. Uh, so this guy's minus six throwing the spear at. I'm trying. To... Sorry, normally I'm quick on your names, Tiger. 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 Oh, oh. You know, had he been targeting you, that probably would have hit because you have no armor, right? Right. That would hit. Yes. So, from way up there, he chucks the spear at you. It just—I don't know how he, he catches you. You know what? Even if I give you even more cover bonus, though, that that was going to hit. Um, so yeah, he took a spear, man. God damn it! Let me try this again with targeting you. I'm having some map problems here. I can't scroll. The targeting's not working. Now I just targeted the wrong person. Tiger. Nope. I'm trying to target Tiger and it's a select. There we go. Make, make a trophy. It's not working. I'm going to roll damage again. Do it. There. You took an extra point because my butts weren't working. Take that. Ouch. Who else have we got? Oh, running away guy. Yep, he's running away. Uh, these guys are pretty much just hooting and hollering and watching the other people run. And uh, probably moving to intercept. So I'm going to move. Fane, you'll probably get to go this round if you want. Towards the end of it. 
because they kind of ended up moving up to meet you. Okay. Let me... Well, you didn't roll an initiative for attack, though, did you? No, but how bad could it be? <laughs> yeah, you get... Your unarmed attacks are minus two, so really you would have just gone... Oh, I'm using daggers, I think. Oh, okay. I don't know, just roll this round. You got up there last round. And... Can I see Caveman 9 or no? Or my Let me figure out how far you got. Uh, no, you probably can't see him. Okay. You you can pro you guys down below can probably only see eight and possibly tw is that twelve? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. If I don't make this a background image, does it work? Not being able to scroll the map really doesn't work. Okay, it's just when I make it a background thing that it doesn't work. Huh. Yeah. All right. It worked for me. Yeah, it normally it worked for me. Maybe if I do it now, it'll work. Did we not get location data on where Tiger got hit? I'm sorry. No, we did not. Forgot that. Yeah, you forgot to have it targeted. Somewhere in the upper body, shoulder. No, my scroll's still not working. Ever. Middle mouse button it is. All right, initiatives. Um, there's a very if I, you guys don't know if Fane just can grow at will or what's going on, but he's definitely way bigger than he was a minute ago. Well, I ran far away, so maybe I just looked the same size. True. <laughs> the force perspective shot. He's like he's like seven or eight feet tall now. Um, I'm gonna hide the. I wish there was a way to not roll these torch bears and stuff. Right. Tigers firing three arrows. Apparently, did you ever? Oh, you didn't can take you, your second shot. You can you make an effect for them? That's just like a non-combat effect that would make them like pass out or whatever. Probably, maybe, probably. Should have done the cold shot thing. Yeah. Should have. Well, it only matters if you get a nineteen. Okay. True. He he was literally just he had his arms up in the you know like the Tuscan Raider and and uh, mm -hmm. Star Wars he's doing the and then you put another arrow on him. Excellent. Well, you know. <laughs> That's how it goes. He's going to have like 15 arrows and finally die. Moose is just sitting there watching you guys. Silently judging. Ooh, nice. What'd you hit him with? Slingstone. Slingstone. Hell yeah. Right in the hey. face. Nice. Hey, unlike... Uh, Histon, you should you should put some of those on your character sheet. You probably already did. Because it's you. So Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that for everyone else's benefit, really. <laughs> All right, Fane. Fane gets up there with his dagger. You know how Histon had unlimited sling stones. I, I was oh, yeah. saying he should put some on his sheet. I have an actual pouch of ten stones. <laughs> Keep on me at all times. Although they are very, fine. they are very easy to replenish here. That I know. <laughs> Aw, did you just find that in the uh, inventory? Find what in the inventory? Or items? What? The sling stones. Yes. Okay. I mean, you could literally just name they, something. They have sling no stone. cost. No, they're actually a sling stone and sling bullet. They have no cost and like half a pound of weight. Yeah. The bullets do, or just the stones? The stones. The bullets okay. might have been lighter. I hope they are. I'll look. I got nothing better to do for a moment. Uh, they all weigh half a pound. Damn. That might be inaccurate compared to Hackmaster 2, because it probably is the 2e1 copy. All right, Actually, Pain. They're from Weapon Hackmaster. Okay. Well, I copied a lot of 2e items and didn't necessarily enough, go check yeah. and weights and stuff for the I'll, same. I'll double check the book. I got no problem. Anyway, um, yeah, Fane 
jabs his dagger into one, I guess. You got another attack coming up, or? I do. Okay. But later. After Basil, Basil does something. Basil Exposition. Pulls out his hooded lantern. Lantern. Uh, Probably not what you intended. Oh, no, you should just... you should unequip your hooded lantern. Oh, okay. Put it in because otherwise the light will be shed. It, which it, free two is having a light on right now, which yeah, would be bad. or incorrect. Give me a sec. Not that it really matters here, but it's a good habit to be in. Where is the combat track? Dusk, I... moonlight. There it is. Nope. Both sling bullet and sling stone are half a pound. Dang, those are heavy. I always mm -hmm. assumed sling bullets were lighter. They're just properly made so they're easy. they do actual damage. Well, they don't have a minus one on everything. Medium there, one. I was, I was imagining more like like a ball bearing, I guess, which is not yeah. yep. big enough. Basil... Fires a magic missile at the caveman. Pew pew. Welcome to level one. All right. So, uh, Fang, go ahead with your second attack. And uh, right now, both of the cavemen are looking at you and looking at each other and grunting something and they seem like terrified of the fact that you're much bigger now than you were a minute ago. I should do an arm prob probably d4 plus 4 is better than a d6 plus 3, huh? Same. Uh well, you can By stun. Averages. Well, is there other effects? That's that true. I can stun. You can stun yeah. with your. In fact, that would have. That would be hit by five, right? Uh, oh no! It's we were saying hit by five on the die. So for you'd have to hit by five plus whatever your bonus is. Anyway. Wait, it's not doing. Uh oh. You don't think it's working? Times 1.3 should have rounded it up to 8. Are you normally a plus 4? Just to be sure that's right, Andrew. Uh, I have plus 4 strength. I'm in great honor. It's supposed to... Dagger's normally d6 minus 2 against medium. Yeah, so I'm d6 plus 3. And then the great honor makes it 4. Plus 4. So it's just not adding. Two. It's just not it's adding. Not adding and... Yeah. Blah. All right. Well, why find out why damage is even working? Cool. It changes the die all pretty and stuff. All right. So you would have had two more on that hit, and how much on the other hit? Uh, One or two. two. Yeah. All right. Because it rounds up. It would have been 6.5 instead of 5. Oh, that's the other thing we got to track. Best hit. But I guess that's going to kind of go along with it. Uh, this guy... Did have needed a threshold? Of... Oh, no. Now... Wait a minute. Nope. Still doesn't need a threshold of pain. Okay. That was wrong. Moose, chilling. Uh, this caveman... Oh. Rothbert's up there. Yeah, I I was moving the entire yeah. time. Uh, so once I get there, I gotta wait another one second, three, well, three, four segments. Well, Fane and Rothbert can both take a free attack on Caveman eighteen. Who uh, he, nice him, and three are both running away because they just decided. Uh, I don't. Know, they seem terrified of Fane. So, I'd probably get there about oh. the same time he takes off. So, oh yeah, just go ahead and oh. why? Why did that not crit? Your guys' crits and fumbles aren't working. Hmm. Did you change let, the code? Let, 
Let me make sure the option's on. It, I, it might be when I set it up, I didn't turn them on. It's on. I did change the code. You don't see like an error message or something, do you, Andrew? No. If you type slash council, is there anything in there? I think what's happening is I tried to hide the crits, and I bet what's happening is it's hiding them even for me when you guys roll them. I never tried. Oh, I saw. I saw quite a lot of effects. Did you not see effects? Oh, you saw the crit, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> apparently what apparently whatever I did hides it from everybody but the person who did it. All right, I'll I'll fix that. <laughs> crits only showing for whoever caused them, not the DM. Okay. God damn, I suck. I don't think that was double damage. No, but you thresholded him and uh, stunned him. Yeah, roll an extra D6. I don't know why none of this is working. Well, it wasn't supposed to be a whole other weapon full of damage. Oh, but, sorry. But, you know, it so doesn't really matter. Five, seven, eight. It's eight, fine. He's thresholded total. either way. So he's down. He drops as he turns around. We still have Rothberg coming in with a hack. Since he was leaving the turn I got there. No, it's I fine. You can, yeah, you can get him. Okay. Um... Stupid trying to make crits better and they broke. Oh, Typical. Well. Okay. Typical coder. Mm -hmm. There we go. We even tested this. That's hard to do with one. That's hard to do in one hand, Derek. Can I not? Uh, you need to change it so I can right click on a target and say target this guy. <laughs> uh, there is a button on the map. Does that work? Target, target mode? mode? Target mode, yeah. yeah. The, the circle, the, the bullseye symbol. I might have just cleared your targets, unfortunately, because I was dicking around. Nope, I cleared the caveman's targets. I probably right, have hold to. On. I might have to make it your target. turn for that to work, though. Ow. Oh, all right, there we go. Okay, I got it now. Uh, Get it. Warhammer. Yeah, just barely. Ching. Seriously, call oh, shot. Seven? Well, it gave you a plus four because he was stunned, even though it was simultaneous. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay, okay. So technically you hit by four less, but whatever. And he's medium? Sure is. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. So, uh... He was supposed to drop loot. He does when I click on him. So, so... They'll drop what they had on them in a little bag icon. Don't go click yep. it until after combat, though. But it doesn't always go right away. Sometimes I have to click on them in the combat tracker for, for it to realize they're dead. Just, just so you know. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Uh, splat. He turns around. Uh, his buddy, though, is booking. Eh. I don't think that's going to work out for him. Tiger. Tiger's going to shoot this guy in the face. This guy you're shooting at was like cheering and then he took a shot from you and uh, he was less happy and he started reaching for his hand, this, this stone axe he has on his belt. He doesn't uh, really have a belt, but whatever. Uh, I don't know how he ties it to him. Maybe he wraps around his dong. Who knows? Either way, he's getting his stone axe out and uh, a magic missile flies into him. Does way less damage than the arrow, but it scares the shit out of him, and he's starting to turn to run as you go to put the second arrow in him. I'm going to shoot him in the back of the head. All right. I, I've got the modifiers panel open. How do I make no, no. that? Uh, when you're going to roll the attack, yeah. the red die you use for rolling an attack uses this. Right-click on it, and bottom right is called shot. Ah. Head. Nice. You hit, you hit him in the head. Ha <laughs> Does that do more damage, or is it just cool? It's just cool. It's just cool unless you crit, in which case you're probably going to get a good crit. Okay. 
<laughs> well, you know, I shot in the head with an arrow. And it, it, cl- was it, fine. it clipped his jaw. At lower levels, you might keep a two called shot like body because that's only a minus two instead okay. of a minus six. You, you kind of want to balance the how much bonus are you losing for that better chance of crit. Uh, so you guys are, notice as you're up here, um, there were some cavemen kind of concealed back here. However, <laughs> the reason you're now aware of that they were gonna they were gonna ambush you with spears, but they all seem to be uh, turning and like they seem to be pretty good climbers. They're kind of like climbing up the side of the cliff there. It's not sheer. It's like you know. But anyway, they're 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 getting the hell out of there. Um, so I'll just kind of move them out of here to represent that. <laughs> hmm. Uh, so this guy didn't get to go till eight, I guess. So he's only going to make it to I don't know. Yeah, about there by round end. Did I skip over? I did skip over this guy. Adam, you can take one more shot at him if you want. I can still see him? Yep. Sure, I'll do the body shot. Uh, you said you were going to hit him in the face. <laughs> I like call a shot to the face to me. I did that last time. Is okay. that torso? It actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it hit. Cool. They're not wearing armor, so, you know. Ah! There you go. Take that. Ah, oh, he can't, he made the save though. Uh, the arrow oh, son of a gun. punches through him. He gasps and grabs at it as it comes out the other side of him, and he's stumbling along, leaving a trail of blood behind as he continues like limping off down the trail. And uh, before we go into the next round, I'll say. They are all running. Is anyone chasing after them, or are you letting them go? Because there's no reason for me to go round by round if you're just going to let no. them go. I'm going to chase I'm gonna down one this more guy. Arrow into that guy. Guy three's going down. He had tried to attack me. All right. I will just do a round of initiative then. So go ahead. and If you're not taking actions, don't roll. It's just easier. But uh... yep. And Andrew, you are faster than that guy. But, well, normally it's 15 to 12. I'm saying you're probably, we'll say 30%. I don't know if 30% is really how much faster you'd be, but for the purposes of right now, we'll say that's that works. I don't want to set that as a permanent precedent necessarily, though. Um, so 19. Yeah. So half, actually, you'll yeah. catch up to him in four segments of movement, maybe. Assuming, yeah. We'll say that. Add four to your initiative. That's when you catch up to him. If you've already rolled, I will. Well, we'll then I'm going on five and six. Five and six. Okay. Uh, Tiger, she's my daggers. It turns out you can take another shot on him. All right, I'm doing it. So close. Come on, go down. He's probably about here when you do it. (laughs) Take his. Five he's like, arrows, I think. He's not <laughs> even he's not even smart enough to move away from the edge of the cliff right now. <laughs> I'll probably I should be giving him some cover, but whatever. Yeah. Uh all right. Was anyone else doing anything? Uh, Tiger no. is just gonna be taking another Okay, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna move your initiative, we're just gonna do it now, but we'll You're probably around here when you catch up to him. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. It's a rear attack. You get plus two. In the fingers. Well done. Huzzah. Let's see. You hit by eight, which is what you need to hit by. Well, is Lord, it? We didn't apply the... Yeah, you hit by no. ten. Well, okay. He needs to hit by five on the die to stun. Okay. I have plus two he had for a plus strength. three to hit, so he needs to hit and by And one for honor. Gotcha. Well, I'm looking at it this way. If the die... 
I guess technically you could have minuses, so it doesn't totally work. But where does it say hit by ten or hit by five on the die? Is that in the in the monk section? I don't ever remember that. So no, it's hit by five. Period. Um, right. The trade off I, I said for giving him roll damage. The trade off I said for giving him dex to monk, okay. which normally you're not supposed to get, is that I was going to make it harder to stun. Because honestly, the way to hit scales in Hackmaster, monks are going to be stunning literally like everything by mm -hmm. level 5. Uh, so what's that? Probably about 9 damage. I'll give him 2 more. Yeah. And then uh, you just go ahead and do your second attack as you guys get a little bit farther. Oh wait, he wouldn't actually be getting farther. I believe there's no save at all for your stun, right? Do you recall? Maybe I'll look at my kit. I made a little... No, it's uh, under abilities. An opponent is stunned by the monk for 1d6 melee rounds if the score of the monk's to hit die score exceeds the minimum number required to hit by 5 or more. Also, you have a chance to kill outright. Equal to the armor class of the opponent. So you have an 8% chance to just kill him outright, by the way, on that last hit. You have to stun for that to trigger, though. So, uh, so if you want to make a percentile roll, go ahead. Modified by the number of experience levels above 7. Yeah, but you don't, you don't go the bad way on that. I'm pretty sure. All right, and I believe I gave you, under your powers tab, you can add stun to people. Whether just dragging the effect to him or having him targeted and clicking it, whatever. Um, although, long story short, you probably don't have to go to all that trouble if you're just finishing this guy off because he's now stunned and at your mercy as all the rest of them run away. Uh, so do you wish to finish him? He does seem like a menace to the lawful society of the area, so I, I believe I have to. All right. I, don't, I don't think he's redeemable. Then, uh, I don't know why I had them all yellow. They probably should have been red, but... All right, because they didn't have to be hostile. They just got an arrow fired at him right <laughs> Alright. You forgot one. Which one? Number 17. It didn't turn. I'm only turning them red because then it's easier to remove them all in a batch. Delete on folks. Bam. Alright, well, you can loot their shit if you want. Although, technically, Caveman 3, I gotta delete a spear because it's down on the ground. I'll leave it. Maybe someone can pick it up if they want it. So his loot is locked? Ah, it shouldn't be. I oh, okay. It. Let me... The default parcel is locked, but let me see if I can change the default for that. Alright, I don't think it should lock anymore when they die. Okay. Anyway. And X. <laughs> yeah, that's really... <laughs> Unless you want a loincloth. That's pretty much all they had was spears and, and axes. Moose looks at you. Particularly looks up at Fane. Grunts. Just starts pulling the horse again. Yeah, let's keep going. Yep. Anyone anything they need to do before that? Uh, stop and pick up another stone along the path. That's about it. <laughs> so that big statue of Arden, or is it Vool? The the soldier guy. The soldier is Arden, female. Vool is the sorcerer, male. Arden's, Arden's holding out her hand, strangely. What's what's going on there? I kind of look down at it once in a while. You know, with rope or something, you could probably go climb into it if you wanted. But uh, 
it's uh, definitely there's no trail to it. She's not holding anything. Well, no, I actually. Uh, one sec. Let me pull my map back up. Yeah, no, it's just like a big statue hand being held out, but you don't see anything down in it. Um, okay. With with some fancy climbing or something, you can maybe get down there and climb around on it. Some but, other day. Yeah. All right, you guys continue on up the trail. Um, at the next switchback. Hmm. Let me find that map, that picture you guys are looking at. Yeah, there's actually like a cave entrance here. Um, Moose just keeps going right past it, though, and doesn't really pay it any mind. So unless you guys are doing something. Uh, you might investigate that another day. I don't know. Yeah, probably another day. Uh, continuing on up the path. Again, you don't uh, encounter anything. You do come to the third switchback. I need both these maps open at once. How do I do this? There is a, uh, kind of looks like the entrance to, it, it goes into the side of the mountain, but it's almost like, uh, whereas the one down below is a cave, this one kind of looks like the front of a building that was built back into the mountain there. And the front door is like all smashed open. Uh, it looks like a big stone door. It's just in pieces. Um, you can see maybe like a 20 foot wide hallway starting to lead back in there, but it kind of looks all collapsed and you kind of see trash and stuff in it. And again, Moose is just going right past it, moving on. Um, so unless someone's uh, going to do something about that, I'm assuming you're going to keep moving on. Right now you're about 900 feet up from ground level too, just so you know. Keep going. Okay. Uh, you make it up to another switchback. Nothing real interesting. Nothing's jumped out at you. Uh, you haven't seen anything from these cavemen guys who were popping out earlier. They they took off and you never saw them again after that. Um, keep continuing on up. Sounds and good. One yep. last... Uh, probably had too many checks in there, but it works out. Uh, finally, probably about, I, I don't know how, to, they don't, they don't give you an estimate. I'm wondering how long do you think it would take to go up a mountain like this? Like 1,500 feet, rough trails, slippery slope. I don't know. For now, we'll say like four or five hours. Which might be way too long. I really don't know. I'll calculate it out later. Anyway. You guys have made it to the top. In front of you lies broken walls of uh, the ruins of the city. And um, you do see a couple bigger buildings. Like one tower in particular and like the temple you can see in the distance because those rise up. It almost looks like, um, <laughs> like if there was a city here, it's almost like a child... Like, imagine a child playing with, like, a toy Lego city just took its arm and, like, swept it across the whole thing. Like, everything's flattened except for, like, one or two things, which are weirdly uh, untouched. And I'm looking for a map. What do we know about this place? Like, was it a town? Are there still people here? 
Um, something you definitely would all know is this was... Oh, just in case everyone doesn't know, there's a channel called Ardenvul Lore in Discord where I did put some of the stuff you yeah, guys would know. It was a It got abandoned back in a war when everyone kind of left the area. Yeah, see, the gotcha. current year is 2993, and it was back in like 1783, so like 1,200 years ago, roughly. The town was sacked. Um, and this was kind of like during a civil war. And kind of the entire empire kind of retreated from this continent back to Mithruin, their, their like home island continent. And uh, it's only been in the last, let's see, two or 300 years that you've returned to this continent. Yeah, 2639 is when they came back, so 360 years ago. So this city's been lying uh, abandoned for... Well, it had been lying abandoned for about 100 years. Um, the Empire has started delving back into the city for over 200 years now, but not in a real concerted effort way. When they first came back, they sent like a big expedition down there and they probably spent like 20 years like down in the ruins poking yeah, it at like it and fighting things 17 from 17 it didn't go well for them um part of the reason the empire is so interested in it is i mean it was kind of the seat of, one of the seats of power here back in the day um but there's something known as arcanum which is a weird magical metal that really only seems to be here uh, that the Empire would definitely be interested in, but apparently not interested enough that they're like sending entire armies here yet or anything. They're not as powerful as they were back in the back in the day before their civil war. All right, what was I doing? I was finding an image. This one question mark. I need to re. I didn't keep the masking. I better not share this with you until I fix that. <laughs> Why did it, uh, that's really frustrating. All right, I gotta unmask some stuff, one moment. Yeah, like that. That works, and then there. Okay, I'm going to link a map to you guys. A lot of it's going to be hidden, I think, I hope. Uh, you're going to be wanting to look down like towards the south part of it. You guys are kind of coming up the top of the stairs right where my arrow is pointing. Not the okay. stairs, the, the mountain. Um, ahead, there's kind of two towers on either side. Uh, what, what looks like probably used to be a gate here um, is long since gone. You can see the path leading ahead. There's a there's a big obelisk up ahead, that little like square with an X up here. You can see that. And if you look north unmasked, I have the temple, just so you have a point of reference for where it's at. That's That's where you're headed, and you can see that in the distance. And then there's like a tower here. You don't know what that is, but that's... <coughs> untouched to um all around though there's there's just ruins of buildings and it, most of that's not gonna be on the map but i mean this was this was a big city that's just rubble now um so you guys get to the top um moose kind of motions for you to halt they all take care of the animals for a minute you know whatever you got to do give them water all that good stuff and it's probably, I'd probably say like early evening, like maybe five o'clock. Um, Moose, Moose uh, looks like he's going to keep going, though. It's just a brief break. Uh, you're free to do whatever you want while you wait, or we just move on. 
Where are we on the map right now? You are kind of right in front of the gate here. Okay. I think the scale of these squares is 50 feet. For reference. So this is like down the cliff. Yeah, that thing kind of below us and then going Whoa. southwest is the path. I was expecting and that to scale you. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Like the yeah. statues. This is the path we came up here. Right. Oh, it's because I set the grid to be... That's dumb. Let me fix this. All right, so I need 10 squares in this one square. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close enough. All right, I'm gonna delete you guys from the map. Tiger's gonna hawk a loogie down the cliff face. <laughs> Watch it drop. It does. Hey, now it put you guys sort of kind of scale. <laughs> okay. Closer anyway. Yeah. See if a square is still 50. Close enough. I, I'm not I'm not planning to like drag you around the map, but obviously this isn't a battle map. But... Uh, if anyone wants to check out a tower or anything while you're wiring the horses, that's fine. If you just want to wait, that's fine. Just giving you options. Your loogie eventually doesn't make it all the way to the bottom. It just, you know, splats on the sloped side of the mountain. These hey. big pillar things, are they watch gates? Stone watch, or... Yeah, those are towers. Um, partially gate. destroyed. Okay. The one to the east looks really in bad shape. Like, collapsed. The, the west one looks like you could probably still get inside of it if you tried. There's arrow slits you can go look through if you want. Yeah, I'll peek in. I don't want to wander too far off, but... Man, there's a lot of spider webs in there. A lot of spider webs. Look. Is it like a spiral staircase that, kind of deal? No, no, that's the ruined one. The one to the oh. west was the... Yeah, Yeah, you're not actually inside it. You'd be outside peeking in through the arrow slits right now. But yeah, uh, it's it's oh, dark okay. from the bit you can see with sunlight and stuff. It's just, it's just covered in webs in there. No, there's no door. Ah, uh, yeah. If you work, if you work your way around to the inside, there would be one on like the other side of the walls. I just want to go like you know, ten feet in. Other, other side. Yeah. The inside. You know. Yeah. They they don't usually build the access to their towers on the you know side Outside the attackers would come from. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. The door is no longer there, but you see the big you know entry where it was. Um, and part of the top of the tower is gone, but the base is still there. And it is like th thick webs. Like, like you would get stuck in them if you tried to walk in there, is what you're seeing. It's pretty dark in there, too. This is what you're seeing, like, in the doorway. All right. I'm happy. Moose kind of comes up, and he's just watching you. <laughs> he seems ready to go now. There, Moose. Huh. Find out later. After job. Moose's first right. words. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, so this is a road. Um, damn big one, too. But it is full of, like, rubble and stuff. So you're kind of... Moose is back on his horse, but it's real slow walking through here. Uh, one moment. My shit is not working tonight. Uh, actually, actually, let's take like a couple minute break. I gotta use the restroom and stuff. So, okay, okay. be back in a few.
Ankh. Ankh. Leave me alone, I was measuring stuff. I think I found the problem with my scrolling when I'm zoomed really in. It's, uh... No, that's not it either. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to take the uh, NPCs off the combat tracker for now. Put them on there if it matters. Just less to keep track of. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Derek. Yeah. Question. Oh, never mind. Not that. Uh, the strength spell. Yeah. Is that actually an out of combat spell, given that it has plus ninety nine on initiative? Is that supposed to be? The probably out of combat. Come turn think, probably come spell? to think of it. Uh, it's, it might be, it might mean it's one round, one full round of casts. Um, okay. Hold on. Strength. 
Yeah, it's just cast time one turn. So yeah, you would want to cast that out of combat. That is uh, probably just wore off finally, though. On No, no. That was enlarged. I can't oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right, you're right. Yeah. It wore off one go. But if we're likely to encounter anything also, it's going to be in here. So I'm going to cast that before we go very far. Good call. Yeah, that's probably a... Uh, sounds like a 10-minute cast. And that would be what you would do... Uh, Good time to do it would be when everyone was taking care of the horses and stuff. Yep. Given that it's a three hour long spell for things, yes. Who do you want to. Uh... Oh, Fane again, I think, at this point. All right. Andrew, you there? Well, yeah. Well, Eric, I'll let you roll the d8. Although it's going to start going to... You'll get the biggest gain from the first two points. Yeah, i got, I got to edit that effect on him. Oh, okay. You, I can't code that one because it gets weird after 18. It goes into percentages oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah. D8, was it? Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm going to read that as... Two gets him to 18, and then I'm going to say, like, 40% more. Yep. Um, which is there even a different is 18 all broken down like it was in 2 week or no is it just 2 no I don't think so it, it's somewhat broken down I thought I don't remember if it was by 50% or by 25% uh, no it's just 1851 so just shy of giving you well it didn't uh, no because he was at 16 already uh, yeah I, I mean but it's I'm weird 18, 18 and 1851 don't have any difference for the oh, okay. To, okay. to hit or damage. Well, that makes it easy. I'm just so going to I already got the benefit out of it, yes. All right. But that means normal castings, I should probably actually go ahead and hit Tegan or Tiger. Yeah, maybe. Since he'll have more of a range to gain benefit from it. And, and that'll last for. Is that one of your uh, arcane? Uh, yeah. Okay, so oh, that, should be, the, that should be three hours then? I forgot to click the special specialty skill thing before yeah, no problem I, I got it three hours i got it all right but yeah that'll go on tiger more often and then enlarge on fane that works okay just starting to get in mind how i want to do spells regularly tiger or rothbert tiger well so it's a d8 against tiger doesn't have a composite bow is why i'm asking oh you're right so right now that wouldn't be helpful so yeah probably eh, maybe rothbert then because I'm more likely to... Uh, What's I'm his strength? 16, so about no, the same. About the same, yeah. I mean, it'd be a d6 instead of d8, but it'll... Hey, still... put it on uh, Basil and let him go <laughs> running in with his short sword. With an extra d4? Yeah. I mean, he's also already 14, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it'd be hilarious. All right. Fane suddenly has got, you know, bulging muscles. Still not quite as big as Moose, but pretty close. Uh, I don't... Oh, Dave's not here yet. Hopefully he didn't fall down and break his other arm. <laughs> be awkward. <laughs> Alright, well, once Dave gets back, we'll continue. Yep. What is this? It's Tigger. So if I did get a composite bow, would I have to like get um the issue is this you have to get one you basically say how much strength you benefit from uh, with it. So even still, I would never really use strength on you. No, I'm just saying if I wanted to get my strength bonus in general. What's yeah, this? There are composite 1, composite 2, composite 3 based on your plus damage. Mm. Really it just affects the costs. Yeah. And you know, someone with 18 straight. Because you're so rich. From your yeah. <laughs> Save it up. Maybe after this job. <laughs> um, Would I need a new training or whatever weapon? No, that's, no, that's so it's still fall. Oh. Okay. The gotcha is that it. What was the.
I think we've been calling it composite. I think somewhere in the Hackmaster book, it's it's, it's not even the, it, the problem is, is it just it just has one price. I thought it was priced based on the number of pluses you give it. Yeah, that might have been one of the other books, but whatever. I'm not going to get yeah. overly weird about that. Yep. It'll cost more, some amount, but it won't be like buying a set of plate mail or anything. Is it going to be like a couple hundred gold? Yeah. I think so the one, the one listed is a hundred gold for a composite okay. longbow. I mean, I, don't I, you I, have I, to have I, the best best bow? <laughs> Just saying. I do know somewhere it talks about the price scaling based on plus with the I plus, the but case, I just yeah. I just don't remember what that is. But since we're I wish, waiting on Dave anyway, I wish this then carried bows. <laughs> bows. And I mean, right now with your thirteen strength, it only you only need a plus one anyway. So, yeah, Dave's back. All right, you guys start moving up the road. Nothing's messing with you. You come to this big obelisk. Uh, looks like it's made out of granite. It's about 10 feet square at the base and 35 feet tall. Uh, you see pictures of... Uh... Well, there's writing on it in Mithric. I don't know if anyone reads that. That's one of the ancient languages. Just a second. Hey, language guy. Check it out. <laughs> but aside from the languages, you see... Uh, for the first feet, eight feet of its height, there's a lot of images of humans interacting with big lizards or humans riding on lizards. Uh, humans killing various creatures. And then uh, kind of above that first eight feet, um, like sun-themed images. I can read and write in Mithric. All right. Do you want me to tell you this privately, or is you're just going to repeat this? There's nothing fancy. Yeah, I'll repeat it out to the group so you can just kind of, like I read uh, aloud. Uh, there's some uh, references to the 12, which are the 12 original gods in there. Um, you also see... This is down at the very bottom. Um, and kind of mixed in with some of the other stuff. Um, there's there's lots of names on there, like 300 plus names. You don't recognize most of them, but you can pick out a few here and there as emperors. Like some of the more, like some of them, you're like, oh yeah, that was the first emperor. Or that's the first name on this list. Oh, I recognize that one too. Um, so there, it might be all names of emperors. Maybe it's names of famous Arcantians or something. Um, definitely, you don't know all 300 plus names on there. And then, um, as you guys are kind of the side you're approaching from the south, at about five feet in height, there's this. Uh, band of stone around it that's just clear. It doesn't have any drawings or names on anything like the rest, other than a picture of an ankh. Or not a not a picture, uh, uh, like an indentation for an ankh. It's about one foot tall. And there's, an, there's actually an inscription right below that that in Mithric says... Actually, I'm going to put this in chat just because... I don't want anyone to ask me to repeat it, I guess. There you go. The beacon shall be revealed to those who bring midday life to the sun, the moon, and the stars. So you guys probably take a minute to check that out. Moose just stops for a minute and lets you gawk. Because, you know, that's probably the first interesting thing you've seen in the city. It, it looks, it's like untouched by the devastation. Which is kind of what makes it stand out. Is there anything sun, moon, or stars-ish looking around here? Um, there's definitely images of the sun all over this obelisk. But you don't really see moon or stars on it. Moose kind of gets impatient after a moment, though, and starts... Motion you guys to keep going. Um, I'm going to reveal more of the map than you're actually 
couldn't get to right away just because it's there's no real downside. That maybe. Yeah, do that. Honestly, I can do more. Now that you're inside. I'm just going to hit this whole thing. Your visibility isn't quite as good as this uh, would. <laughs> this looks really weird depending on your zoom level on the map, by the way. Basically, off to the west, yeah, you see but... kind of a pond that definitely looks like... Uh... Actually, you'd be able to see a little more, too. Down there, you actually see a dam. And it seems like over time, the pond's been like expanding. Um, uh, you see a few bridges across it. There's a big bridge up here. Uh, the star is a statue that you probably can't make out much from this distance because you're like a thousand feet away. And I lied. There's not a statue there, so never mind. And uh, the the main road's kind of like an overgrown cobblestone path with you know bits of buildings that have fallen off and splattered into the street here and there. Um. This area that looks all blank, it's not like a big field. It's like there used to be lots of buildings there. That's like all rubble, basically. If you ever wanted to, you could just start going through the rubble and hauling stones aside or get out a shovel and who knows what you might find. Um, so just to kind of correctly paint the picture here, this isn't a big empty area. This is a big rubble-filled area. And you, by that you mean the to the east and north of us? East, uh, east and north. Even, I mean, some to the west, too. Sure, um, but the the big empty part you were talking about is the thing. On yeah, right. sorry, I, I was po I was pointing with my mouse cursor that no one can see. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so you guys keep continuing down this road here. Yep. Uh, there's a big oak tree just grown in the center. There's a tower um, here which is weirdly untouched. Um, 40 feet square, 45 feet tall. Uh, there's no windows till at least 10 feet up. There's a big pair of bronze doors on it that are closed. And uh, Moose just keeps going right by that. Up Does ahead, it look you like there's any moon or stars on it? Not that you see. You don't really see any external decoration on it. And then up ahead is the pyramid, which you guys finally get to. Um, all told, it's like what, to like one thousand two hundred feet you had to travel to get in here, and it's over rubble, so it's kind of slow going. But like, this is nothing compared to the trek up about. So this is like maybe half an hour. Um, and. So, uh, the pyramid is 90 feet square and rises about 45 feet tall. I don't know what that makes, makes each riser. Maybe <laughs> we'll just say they're about five feet. Uh, that would be really big to climb. Probably maybe two and a half foot steps or something. So there's quite a few going up there to get you to the top. Um, and you can even see from here a big statue of Thoth, uh, up at the top of it. And I'm going to actually send you the map for that. Once I find it. This one? Yes. That one. You guys on it. This is not the entire pyramid. I just did the very top of it. Can I drag? Oh, you were outside the map. Okay. Um, so there's, this is before you're even up there. Um, you see all these, uh, pillars kind of around the statue and there's like a, there's like a covering, um, 
on top, like a shaded open air. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, I'm talking about you have pillars and a roof over them, but it's all outdoors and there's no walls anywhere. Like a yeah. pagoda? Sure. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I think, it's, I think it's called an arbor. A gazebo. It's not a gazebo. <laughs> uh, actually, I have another picture for this, too. Although it's going to strike fear in your heart. Not really. Wait, why is it? Why is it not there? Pergola, right? That's what it's called. Yeah. All right. Uh, a pergola is freestanding. An arbor is the same thing attached to a building. Mm. All right. Uh, so you guys probably start making your way up the steps. Um. Probably tie off the ant. Well, yeah, tie off the animals at the bottom. To, I don't know, a growing tree or you know a post that's still there. Uh, that's that's the stat. That's kind of typical statue of Thoth, the ibis-headed, you know, humanoid. Um, as you get to the top, you see. Kind of, you can compare the map to the image there. That, that big rectangle block isn't an altar. It's like an inset different bit of stone there. And then on each pillar, there's like a stone baboon, and they're all like angled to look at the, the statue of Thoth. They all have their mouths open like they're shrieking. Those of you with uh, any religion knowledge. So I know about uh, Thoth stuff. That was like a very... Yeah. Yeah, big, baboon is one of his like animals. Like you know, like the gods have their different symbols and stuff. Baboon is one of his, so nothing weird about that. Um, you guys come up. I assume. Oh, God damn it! I'm definitely checking it out. I'm I'm very interested. There you go. What time of day is it? It's getting pretty late, right? Yeah. And the it bodies are supposed to be up here? Early, yeah, evening, early evening when we watered the horses. And there's supposed to be some bodies around here, right? Oh, yeah. So, uh... Moose is up here. Oh, as you're coming up the steps, too, there's, there's images inlaid in all the steps of, uh... Oh, what do we have here? We've got Th Thoth pointing his arms at a robed human, just dis descending a staircase. Um, we've got one of him pointing his left arm at a bowing human who's presenting him with gold, uh, or presenting him with a, a plate full of scrolls and gold coins. Well, you know, presumably gold, who knows, because it's, you know, a stone carving. Um, there, there's some images of Thoth spewing like a scroll out of his mouth into the hands of humans who were like worshipping him and waiting and then there's uh, images of a baboon uh, squatting down with a book on its thighs and holding a pen in its paws and staring at a group of humans um, which probably is a, another representation of Thoth given that baboon is one of his symbols Anyway, these are all things you see as you're walking up the steps. Um, it's the obviously on my map here. It just looks like stone, but it's it's like lots of carvings and stuff on there. Um, as you reach the top, I'm trying to f see how big the the pillars are actually kind of purple. They're made out of like a purple rock, although the floor is white marble. The baboon statues are all about 14, or not 14, four feet tall. The statue of Thoth itself is about 20 feet tall. Uh, Moose comes up with you, and as do the goblins following him. And he points at the statue and he says, point both the arms up. <laughs> are there no bodies? There's no bodies, right? There's no bodies. 
Okay. I don't. Tigger oh. doesn't like this. The statue does have big gems for eyes too, like right. big grapefruit sized jade. Those. those I'll go point be. the arms up. Is it like is the statue articulated? Do they just move? Yeah, as you reach and you grab one, it is articulated. Although uh, you're finding it probably a little bit difficult to rotate the thing all the way up because of um, the fact that it's 20 feet tall. You might need something to stand on or some help or someone who can climb might need to do it. Okay. On the plus side, there's a lot of handholds on that statue for anyone who would want to climb it. Sure, I'll I'll climb it. Right. You any good at climbing? Um, sure. <laughs> your your default good at climbing? I'm uh yeah yeah I climb trees. How All different right. is this? It can't be that different, right? <laughs> yeah. You're wearing hide. All right, give me a drop a roll in the tower for me. Uh, what kind of roll? Percentile. Yeah, and I know you get plus five, so I'll figure that out. Or no, you don't. Eric does. Yeah, I do. I'm well, an you opportunity. Do, you do too? All right. Yeah. I should go add five to all your skills then. Good enough. Even with your armor, you uh, you find a few handholds, and you don't have to go all the way up this thing. You just got to get high enough that you can kind of crank the arm. It does have a good amount of resistance, but, you know, even someone fairly weak could do it, you know, with some effort and leverage. You get the first arm pointed up. I assume you go around and do the second one? Yep. Alright. Uh, upon doing that, the, uh, the cover here starts sliding to the side, revealing a staircase going down. It's quite dark after the first, you know, ten or fifteen feet, maybe maybe less. Because figured it out. out here. This is I, at least some of you have rumors about this being an entrance to the uh, to the Arnvul. This this is actually pretty commonly known. Yeah. Um. At, le at least that there's an entrance here. Maybe not the exact specifics of it. I was going to say, I thought that was part of the commonly known one, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think the common knowledge was, this is exactly what you do, but it was probably common enough that you, you know, somehow manipulate the statue. It is It is said that placating the cult statue is the way to open the route to the dungeons. So. Anyway, this is why, this is why, uh, this is why Big Don gets 30% of the cut, because... He's giving you the infos. All right. Yeah. We'll head uh, in. No, hold on. I head back down the mount or back down the pyramid real quick. Yep. Uh, can you put the pack mule somewhere I can access it? Oh, yeah. It's okay. Heck. And where did it's? I put it right at the top of the. Okay. Oh, there's faint. Uh, I will get my lantern back off of it and some oil. I think I did a long rest by accident, which uh, might reset people's spells. Just so you know. It did, so I respent the one I. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. I caught it. Uh, what else do I not need on? That was what I wanted. An encounter. Okay. Thank you. I gotta check something. Images. Maps. Does everyone have a form of light? Nope. Yep. I have, yeah, I have a hooded lantern. Adam's got the clothes on his back. Oh, you guys probably have stopped for like a meal or two along the way now, too. In fact, maybe when, when they were brushing down the horses and stuff, maybe they were making a quick meal. Um, yeah. Or the, the, the ponies. Uh, I guess they probably weren't brushing them down. But... Tiger, 
Open yeah. the pack mule and take a torch. All right. Or at least have one if you need it. Okay, but I'm not giving it back. Eh. <laughs> I'll stiff you a copper somewhere else. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the? That's really weird. No? Okay. I exported. Oh, whatever. Um. Yeah. So there's a, let's see here. Make sure the do not actually make sure the lighting's on before I do this. Yes, because I just lit up when I turned to my. Oh, I know it is out there. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, they added a cool new thing to the maps. I can I can add things that cast shadows but don't block line of sight. I did that for the pillars because they're not that. Yeah, no, that's actually nice. Perfect. I like that. Actually, really handy to add some depth to some of the stuff. Um, actually, Tiger, don't light it right now. Why? Because a number of the rest of us do, and there's only a limited amount of time they run, so it's more of a backup for you. Okay. You need both your hands anyway for that boat. <laughs> it's true. You're Holding one, my teeth. Your one possession in the world. So there's a yawning hole in the ground. Should you wish to go down it. Is there, it doesn't turn into like steps or anything? Well, yes, yeah, sorry. There was yawning hole in the ground of here. You know what? <laughs> That's better. Just checking. Are you going down it? Because then I can throw you on a different map. Yes. Sure. Right. Who's going first? Not it. I'll take the rear. I'll go first. I will go first. I'm not a coward. <laughs> I'll head down with him. Going for the honor gain. I'll go third. As only. All right. We should probably actually put that for our normal party order, huh? How do you modify that? Well, the party order, I think only I can I think do it's that. on the battle sheet. Yeah, it, so it, uh, yeah but party it's Eric. Oh, the third battle of order. I don't know how to... How do you move those? How do you do that? Yeah, Derek does. Okay. Oh, oh no, no. no. <laughs> and I can't do anything about it on this one. Oh, that's annoying. Stop! Okay, right. sorry. <laughs> every, every, everybody's doing it at once. All right. <laughs> I, this will be your assumed order, unless you tell me otherwise. Actually, if it's... Right, do, do we want to put somebody bigger in the back? Can I do two E guys? Uh, Tigger in, in the back is fine. Oh, I can put watch order here, too. I mean, would you... Uh, if it was 10 feet wide, would you guys ever double up side by side? Probably. Maybe for the front, too. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, there you are. Okay. Let me see what you guys see. Oh man, it's dark in here. Uh, so what you see is uh, some really in pretty good condition steps leading down. Um, and right away, let me double check. Uh, I lost spot on the party sheet, or not uh, on that map. You I lost. see black right. Oh, now I see stuff. Okay. Uh, it's marble steps. And oh, uh, right. even as you... Even even like right here, um, before you kind of get to where the stairs end, you're seeing like a pile of corpses. Although these look... 
Most of them are skeletal. There's like one that's really, really decomposed. And then there's five that are just like skeletal that uh, look like they've been here for a while. Um, probably not the people you're looking for. The, your, your expectation is the people you're looking for would be, you know, mostly still looking intact. Unless they've been eaten or something. But yeah, you're kind of stepping over bones right now. Gotta move you for one second. Okay. Do you not have light, Fane? I do not. Okay. Here, I'll, 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 I'll move on. Have to keep these deadly weapons ready to go. Can't be holding the torch. Well, at level two, I you can. Right. Hold on. At level two, that torch will be your deadly weapon. I know. Four stairs down. Uh, what you're seeing, actually, hold on. Right as you come around the corner here, kind of right where Fane is, you're seeing a. Uh, and I was going to put it on the map, but for some reason, the parcels I imported don't have a. They, look, they all look weird, and I can't. It's basically a body of one of the guys that I was going to let you interact with, but apparently I can't. It uh, It's missing. I don't know why. If, okay. I create it, if I create a new one, it's fine. I wonder if I copy it. Yeah, copy's fine. That's weird. Now, according to what you were supposed to do, you're just supposed to haul the body and their stuff up out of here. You're not supposed to, you know, go through it. But, you know, obviously you have that option. Oh, this is one of the ones we're supposed to acquire? You think so. It's it's a guy uh, wearing heavy chain armor. So you were told you were supposed to find uh, an archer, a warrior, and uh, I think I told you four before, but it's three, and uh, a wizard. Um. And you're kind of seeing them all kind of piled up right here. Um, they look like they were stabbed and poked to death. Not eaten, though. So there's that. Um, let me get the other one in here. That one. And then, were these and then, guys we are supposed to bring back, or are they and then, just and random people? And then there's Terry O'Quinn. Well, I mean, you don't know for sure if these are the people, um, but they looked at the bodies. There's two uh, Arkantian men and one Arkantian woman, which is what you were looking for. And uh, one's dressed in heavy chain. One's kind of got uh, leather armor and another one's just wearing... Uh... Let me double check. Was Moose coming down with us or did he stay up top? He's not coming down. So if the spellbook wasn't there, you know, what can you do? Are we supposed to pick this last one? Can you not touch? Can you not? Oh, sorry. It's locked. Maddie, Maddie. No, I fixed it. Sorry. Okay. Getting used to that interface. But yeah, there, there they are. There's their bodies. All right, that's one adventure in the back. All right, so I'm assuming you guys are starting to haul them up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're hauling them up one at a time. No problem. You finally get them all out of there. Was anyone looting them or anything before you? Or were you all being uh, good people? We're good people. Okay. I'm going to delete these tokens then. I'll take that heavy chain though, if he, uh, if if they don't need it. That was not part of the deal. All right. Um, you guys haul the. Do, is there actual light further down the stairs there? Yep. Okay. You're guessing it's magical in nature. Yep. Uh, you start hauling the bodies up, and the slaves, start, you know, are. Picking them over, looking for the valuables that are put in saddlebags, and they're strapping the bodies over the 
you know, the backs of the mules and stuff. Um, and after you bring the third one up, Moose looks at you and goes, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Say no, and we'll come back later ourselves. I mean, this, we were told to get three bodies. Here's three bodies. Are these the three bodies we should be looking for? Nope. That's them. They were not very far in. <laughs> How did they die? Don't know. Wasn't here. Dragon came. <laughs> Team ran off. Did you say dragon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a dragon that's known to fly around some. How did the dragon kill them in this? No, no. He's saying when the dragon came up over the ruins here, they ran away somewhere. Ah, uh, I see. The dra dragon came. S slaves ran off. Yeah. Came back. Team didn't come out. So does this... So before we leave... Um... Because it was closed when we got here. So... Is there something inside that closes it back up again, at least from up here, or do you think it's like time-based? You can get up there and make a observation check. Or just spend extra time. I mean, one way or the other, you're going to figure out what. Yes or no, yeah. unless it's very well hidden, but it's kind of how much time it takes you is the question. Yeah, what was observation normally? <laughs> yeah, but I'll give you a plus, uh, plus 40. Plus five. It's not a yeah. real... Well, and your plus five, sure. I can check. Well, there. There's D100. Well, you're supposed to put it in the tower, Dave, but yeah, no, you're not finding any way I to... Uh, tower. You did. I didn't see it. You're not finding any way to open or close that from out here. I did I mean, put it in the tower. Or from in here, rather. Oh, did you? Okay. You're right, yeah. you did. My bad. I take okay. it all back. You guys are awesome. No, you're not. You're not seeing any sort of trigger mechanism in here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys are going back top. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's go get our money. So uh, you get up there. Bodies are all strapped to the mules. And, uh, Moose says, all right, put arms out straight. Point okay. at the statue. You guys do that. Is that how you... they were originally? Or they were, no, they, they were, they were down before. Uh, this sounds like right. a bad thing. I'm going to back up a bit. I don't trust Moose. I'm backing away. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, when you get the second, well, when you when you move the first one, uh, the the thing starts to grind closed when they're not both up anymore. And when you get the second one in like the parallel out position, it actually slides open the other direction. So like it was halfway open one way, and now it's halfway open the other. So there's there's basically two staircases going down in opposite directions, and. Mm -hmm. uh, Moose, Moose looks at you guys and says, stay here. 15 minutes. <laughs> no, thanks. Well, wait. Where are you going? Wait, hold on. Is he saying that before he goes down or? Yeah. In, oh. Into the thing or? Yeah. He, the... He's, uh, he's right now. He's, uh, the, uh, oh, shit. What's her name? He, he had a, there was a guy, there was a goblin. His name wasn't Torchbearer, but it was damn close. Firestarter. Yeah. He's 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 getting fire starter over there, and fire starter's lighting a torch up, and gotcha. And, yeah, uh, he's going to go in and telling us wait here, fifteen minutes for him. I gotcha. What and happens if you don't come back? Up to you. Is he taking all of the stuff, the pack mules, and everything? Uh, nope. no, but he is taking out a uh, pretty hefty sack from his saddlebag. 
it kind of tucks it into a, I don't know. He's tuck, uh, he probably tucks it into a backpack. Okay. And uh, unless you guys object, he's going to head down the other stairway. Well, sounds good. All right, he avoids a random encounter on the way down. That's good for him. Uh, you guys are waiting and waiting. It's been 15 minutes. He's not quite back yet. You doing anything? Oh, I'll... He said wait 15 minutes, right? Yep. Yep. Should we head down, look for him? Sure. Another 10 or so. Oh, okay. You guys are waiting a few more minutes, I'm hearing, yeah. maybe? Okay. Does anyone speak Goblin? They speak... They speak... Oh. They speak, oh. they speak our I asked the Goblins what, what he's doing. I don't know. Not my business. Get whipped. Has he, has he done... <laughs> <laughs> has he done this before? Yeah. Okay. He'll come back. Uh, right about the time you're starting to wonder if that extra ten minutes was long enough, he, he comes back up... Or you see Torchlight coming back up. And it's him and Firestarter. And he's got a, a bundle. <laughs> he's got his sack again, but clearly whatever's in it is different. Um, whereas before it was maybe full of like coins or something. Now it's uh, it's like almost like a small lockbox or something. Not real big. Um, he just takes it over and puts it on his... Puts it in his saddlebags. Pats it. All right, let's go. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, you guys head out of there. And then are we planning to camp just at the front gates for the night, or? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, that's probably, you know, I was higher level. I could just jump off the cliff, and then <laughs> I'd basically be done. If only we had a teleporting mirror. Featherfall. I don't think Featherfall would. You'd really have to time that Featherfall, right? Well, Featherfall doesn't help going out; just down. Yeah. Uh so let's see. Where would he say you should rest for the night? Hmm. You know, honestly, uh, instead of saying let's go, he, <laughs> I guess he does say let's go, but he points back towards the stairway he just came out of. So and, uh, push push their arms up and go in that and way. And the hirelings are like getting all the mules slowly up the pyramid steps to get up top. Yeah. Uh going down the one he just went down, not the one you guys went down. Oh. So the out, not to, not up? Okay. Yeah. Um Let me let me add you guys to this map. Fain. Uh, and Same map as before, um, but a different spot on it. I can link it again. Yeah, did you share a map? There you go. I wonder if there's a way to force it to pop up for all of you without dragging it to you one by one. He's with you now. In fact, he's he's in the lead probably. Um, but go go ahead and move. These steps are a lot more worn. And uh, you're seeing like graffiti and stuff on the wall here now that you're really taking the time to read it. Um, as you come to this, this uh, room down here. God, what do you even do with all the animals, honestly? Leave them here? <laughs> yeah, like probably yeah. leave them up. Maybe leave them up on that first switch back uh, up there. Hmm. Um, there's a little like campfire area here. I don't know if you can all see it from where you're at, but yep. Um, he just 
He pulls out a bedroll, lays it down. One of the fire starter gets over there and starts making a fire. Another one of the the goblins starts getting a uh, soup ready. Um, looking at those stairs heading, those stairs there head down. And like as far as your light goes, you just see stairs going down 20, 30 feet, whatever. Okay. I'm um, a scientist, but doesn't fire need a vent? Like, isn't this place going to fill with smoke? Oh, right now it's it is open uh, up top. Oh, where we came in. But yep. yeah, assuming assuming you actually voice that, he's like, yeah, we'll put fire out after dinner. Okay. Uh but yeah, it does get a little smoky in here because it's kind of you know waft its way up there. Um, about <sighs> food gets ready. Uh, you guys are doing whatever you do. I don't know. I'm reading graffiti or something, if you want. Where's my? I'm missing a pin. Weird. Hold up. Pyramid. You guys like playing cards? <laughs> there it is. You like gladiator movies? Uh, yeah. Uh, basically, around the time they're serving out the food, um, you hear the you hear a grinding noise and uh, like stone sliding shut up above. And uh, the goblins start putting the fire out, basically. Or probably they did it as soon as the food was cooked. But We don't know why that happened. It just happened when we're all here. Uh, probably more time-based. Mm. Moose seems completely unconcerned. He's uh, getting his bedroll set up, although he's tucking himself back, you know, in this corner here. Yep. With with the fire. Mm -hmm. He's like, watch those stairs. He's, the stairs down. Take turns. Goblins will help you. Sure. Okay. Goblins are getting out uh, some lanterns from their packs. So there can always be one lantern going in here. You guys don't have to use your own light. Um, basically, Moose's plan is you're going to spend the night here. So unless uh, you guys have an objection to that, that's going to end up being what happens. Sounds good. Fine. Just a moment. Uh, what do you guys want to do for watches? Should establish that while we're at it. Hardy she even has the watch order section. For section. Yeah. Um. I mean, realistically, Basil and I need to be on opposite ends and on the end. The good news is, I think first level mages only need like four hours really of sleep. It's like the amount of sleep you need is... I didn't think the sleep mattered. I thought it was always eight hours. It's then how much time to memorize. No, there's... Uh, well, there's time to memorize, but there's also, depending on what type of level spell you're trying to get back, is uh, okay. how much rest you need. I mean, granted, you want, a decent, you, you want at least six, probably. But... Yeah. Where did I... I was just reading that this, the other day. Spell recovery, page 77, maybe? Spell level 1 to 2, rest time 4 hours, 3 to 4, 6 hours, 5 to 6, 8 hours, 7 to 8, 10 hours, 9 is 12 hours. And then there's the memorization time on top of that. But 
But the good news is you got a lot of wiggle room at the low levels for getting your block of sleep in there. Okay. So I guess how many watches do you want? You can do one to five. The one would be pretty rough for someone. I mean, I imagine um, <clears throat> we do like one and a half hour watches each. All right, who wants? I, you said Basil and Leland on opposite sides. Who? Which? Which one do you want to be on the first? And who wants to be on the fifth? I'll go on first. That's fine. Okay. Or third, or whatever the last one. How many watches do you want? Do you want to double up at all, or are you all taking a single one? I'm fine with single if everyone else is. All right, Roth. Or, Roth. You probably want to get in on either two or four because you're going to have to get some rest too for cleric spells. Yeah, true. I don't think it's as stringent. You want the later one or the earlier one? I can't hear you, Dave. You're muted. I'll take the early one. All right. Fane and Tiger, you get watches three and four. Who wants what? Yeah. Cool. Or you can tag team. And drink and gamble. So how? Hmm, I guess should have, I couldn't tell anyway. I'm curious how good a spell book that is. Well, yeah, you don't really get to look at it. No. Um, uh, I mean, you said you rummage through the stuff and look for valuables. Uh, did they leave anything behind? No, they took everything. It's just they were unloading from the bodies and putting them in like safer, oh, okay. like, you know, pack saddlebags, stuff like that. So were they paying 100 gold each or 100 gold total? 100 gold each. That does, I'm curious if that makes economic sense. You mages would know that even your first level spell book is worth like five grand with just your little okay, shitty fine. spells in it. That was another thing I just discovered this week. <laughs> it's like, it's 1,000 per spell level in your spell book. Hmm. For the value? Because that's not what it costs to put it in the book. No, that's the value of the book. Okay. Yeah. I mean... They're the value scrolls, aren't they? Well, then, to someone else? Scrolls are 300 per level. Spell books are 1,000 per level. I'm in the wrong line of business here. Holy shit. Yeah, crank out some protégés, get them killed, and sell their spellbooks. Easy. Just create secondary spellbooks and sell them. Yeah. yeah. There's literally no reason I can't scribe the same spell into five different spellbooks. Well, here's the thing. No one would want to buy the spellbook if they could buy the scroll instead, though. Because they... There's no reason for it. It's harder to use someone else's spellbook than to scribe your own. Sure, but scribing to... a scroll is hard as shit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's true. That's what I'm saying. So from my perspective, I don't even have to admit that I wrote them down. I could just be like, captured spell books and sell them. True. True. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm just going to put Fane on three because you guys didn't say anything. There you go. Cool. And uh, at one point during the night, during Fane's watch... A pack of normal size, you know, yay big rats. Oh, God, I thought they were sheep. Comes <laughs> scattering up the stairs and probably comes to where it sees your light and scutters away as one of the goblins just kind of shoes at it with a torch. That's about it. Um, you're not, uh, those of you who aren't possessed with a keen sense of time probably don't really know exactly what time it is, but at some point... Maybe actually just around your fourth watch. Um, Moose wakes up and says, let's go. Okay. Uh, eh, we'll say it's the fifth watch. You probably had enough time that you could have memorized spells and stuff. I guess you did. You were doing pretty... 
short watches overall. I think you guys were planning less than eight hours total. Yeah. So, so, Seven and yeah. A half. so yeah, actually you did get through all your watches then. Uh, yeah. So you head back up the stairs and on this one, and you know, you didn't see this on the other one. There's actually a, not super obvious, but not in any way secret, a uh, lever that you can kind of lift and it makes the stone top slide away. Um, so you guys exit back up to the top of the pyramid. It's like just before dawn. Like the sun's just starting to come up. And, uh, you know, they're getting the ready, animals ready to move and all that again and probably really slowly getting them down the pyramid steps. I don't, I don't know how well that works, but sure, you can do it. And uh, unless anyone else has a plan, you're headed out of here. Yeah. All right. It's a great job. Job well done, guys. I'll take a cakewalk. You guys make it back to the... I'm going to delete you here. You make it back to the uh, gates of the city without incident and start heading down the mountainside. I have five wandering moss or two. What do you think the weather's like today? Oh, God. April 28th. I need to know. Uh, just like the last few days. Like, identical. How do you go to the next month on that website? You don't get to see the future. I know, but it's Monday now, right? Yeah, you can't see that? Can't see Monday. Do I need to hit save? You might need to refresh. It's Monday now. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys see the events I put on there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys, uh, are working your way down the first part of the mountain, and you come across, uh, in the road up ahead, these humanoids that are like, dogmen is probably the best way to describe them. They're, they're, they're humanoid, but they, like, look like dogs. Like, you know. I don't know what else to say. They're they're wearing armor. They have shields. They have spears. They're like in formation. And uh They're kind of standing there in the road. You can see them quite a ways up ahead. Unlike the cavemen, they're in no way trying to like be sneaky. And Moose says, uh oh, wait a minute. <laughs> he actually gets ahead of you guys and rides up uh Gets, gets his big old like pole arm axe out and he's he, he's not he's not being aggressive but he's definitely making it look like you know if you start a fight we'll we'll get in it um tells you to stay here he rides up and uh talks to him for maybe a minute and they uh how, how many are there there are seven. I guess you could start shooting them or something if you want. But uh, no. after after a moment of him talking to him, they all step aside, and he rides back to you and says, "Let's go." Cool. And once you once you're out of earshot of them, like once you're past them, he says, "They're they're usually pretty reasonable, uh, as long as you don't look weak." And then he looks right at uh, Fane and says, or too pretty. <laughs> I don't know why, but they like to capture pretty people. You're safe. He looks right at here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys continue on down. Uh, 
uh, essentially you get back uh, going down is a lot easier than going up. You get back to uh, actually it's not that much easier. Come to think of it, because it is pretty slippery. Um, easier on your legs, at least. You 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 unless you're stopping for something along the way, you you get back to town probably by evening. And uh, head on over to Big Don's. The goblins start unloading the bodies and the other goods. Moose takes in whatever was in the sack, hands it to Big Don. And uh, Don says, wonderful, wonderful, thank you. Sounds like I didn't even really need you. Probably overpaying you, but a deal's a deal. Here, Don, here's your bow back. I'll take the cash. No, sorry, son. That wasn't our deal. <laughs> Dang it. How, how much of that cash do you even have left? Oh, he didn't give me any money. He just gave me the bow and the arrows. No, I mean, how, okay, so how many... Like, what was the value in the arrows that you got? I mean, those are yours now. Uh, it's just a couple gold. So in total, 77. Okay. All right, so he'll pay you out 23 gold, and everyone else, he'll pay out 100 gold. Let's do a business with you. Come back anytime. I don't have any work for you right now, though. But, you know. One day. Moose said you really can handle yourselves. Which is funny, because Moose came in and really didn't say a damn word. And has been standing there the whole time silent. <laughs> oh, Adam, just so you know. Sometime before level 2. Yep. You have to pick your hated enemy that you get plus four attack bonus against. Is that like a species? That's your ranger race? thing. I hope it's halfling. Or is it like a person? <laughs> I guess it, I guess it doesn't have to be a hated enemy. It's just you know, the thing you're really good at killing as a ranger. So yeah, usually it's race or sub race. Yeah. So like you can't usually say humanoid, but you could say what? Goblin. What bonus does it give you? Hey, undead or plus four attack. Right. If you really, I, would, I, I would go with something like dragon. I don't think it can be undead. I think it could be a specific type of undead. Could it be human? Yes. You don't have to decide now. I just wanted to let you know. Okay. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> he said I'm just really good at it. Plan for the future. I would. I would pick deities. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's see here. Everybody gets one honor for, uh, you know, getting out there and getting back. And just, you know, a few people having known of it. A tiger loses one honor for sleeping in an alley like a garbage person. <laughs> Fane uh, gets one extra honor for getting the good room. You know, spreading some money around. And Fane and... Leland both get an honor for like the combo of scaring the shit out of the cave people and getting them run away the the enlarge. Okay. Um, I'm I'm open to other ideas, but that and I'll 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 look later. There will probably some be some other stuff for like combat or whatever, like possibly killing blows. Or whatever. Are we st are you still doing like one for a crit or no? You get. A fourth of whatever the severity was for receiving a crit. Was there one for giving a crit? I think there was a potential honor or experience award, but I don't know if I'm doing individual experience like that because it was really a, it's kind of a nightmare. It felt lopsided. Um, Combat related actions. I don't think there's healing a crit. Well, I, we were doing that last game. I don't know that it was a base rule. Oh, that might have just been. Well, there might be. I just linked the thing for. Oh, yeah, delivering a critical hit. One. It's one temporal. So. It'd be a fourth of one. Uh, we have a good way to track temporal. Did I add something for that? I can't. You did 
Yeah, there is no. to the right of the honor yeah. box. But can That's we edit? Not there? editable. No, you can't. You can't do that. I can do that. You can. God damn it! Can you? Hmm. It won't let you, huh? Can you give us percentile like you did the others, and we'll treat that or? <sighs> yeah, I, I can. Percentile. I can edit something in there for that. Okay. Well, here, let me. Or, I don't know, just write it on the notes section of your character sheet right now. Um, and I think what we'll just do is for every four temporal, you'll you'll get a full point. But the ones I was just... Oh, shit, everything just like... Um, the ones I was just talking about now, though, I was going to say were full honor points. So... Okay. Experience-wise, probably not a whole lot, but we'll do it. You may not have earned many experience points, but you gained some experience about what to do in the dungeon. All right. You killed some cave guys, right? You made some other ones run away? Yep. We killed two and forced at least six to flee. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So if one is worth 52, which is a really weird number. Oh. Damn. They were pretty chumps. Although they did, they did hit Adam. He was the only one to take a hit, which we makes sense because he, he's a garbage person who lives man. in an alley. Yep. You didn't. You in no way defeated the dog. Man. Speaking yeah, of what, damage, how are we fixing that? Walk it off. <laughs> Go All sleep right, in an alley. Seventy-eight Walk plus fifty-two plus four. fifty-two. Sure. 182. And then, uh, like I said, this isn't going to amount to much, but. And then I'll give you. We'll treat the gold you earned here as looted, which is only going to be 100. What? I was healing Adam. Oh, hey, Dave, you can give yourself. Oh, do I have to do it or can you add your own? I have oh, no idea. I'll do it. Hold on. Thanks, Dave. No, wait, I'm, I'm not doing Four. individual XP. Never mind. There you guys go. Big winners. Whoa. Uh, do... How much is it for uh, 16 in your primary stat? 10% in the BXP column? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, depending on... For Cleric, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna look what it is for me again? Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't even know if you have one. Subclasses don't. Monk doesn't. I have a prime requisite. I don't remember if I get a bonus for it or if I'm expected to just have it and suck it up. Yeah. If it says prime requisite, then... No, it said have... something different for me. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I saw you started with a bonus 500 experience, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. If certain classes don't get it, I don't think Battle Mage gets it, do they? All right. Uh, so we got about 10 minutes here. What I would really like to know, because... Don't tell Derek what we're going to do next week. <laughs> Listen, if you want me to draw it all on a friggin' Etch-A-Sketch, basically, I'll do that. But otherwise, if there was something you saw along the way you want to check out, if you're just going to check out the runes, if you're going to go down one of those two um, paths from the pyramid... If you're going to be like, screw all that, we're going to try to find another job, and maybe I'll come up with one. Um, yeah, talk, ple please talk amongst yourselves right now, because um, this place is huge, and I really need to... So far, this is the most successful campaign we've ever had, so if we just quit now, uh, I feel like that's a win. I don't know. I feel like your first session and the last one went pretty well. You got a bag of holding, like... Session one. True. I want to go back to the fungus cave, Derek. I, God damn it. <laughs> I already said that, and he um, said no. Make sure Rothbert gets his best hit of seventeen. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll do that one. That's fair. I haven't had best hit in a long time. What is it? Uh, I'll I'll do it. It's ten it's times the triple. amount. 
It's triple the experience we got for the session. It is. Well, I knew this one was going to be light because it was. Yeah. Everyone get like everyone getting used to what's going on and giving you guys a little bit of a guided tour so that you could figure out where you want to go. Because obviously, and realizing what they forgot with their character. Did that not work. There it goes. I would be interested in no, I guess I in the cave on the mountain path. Yep. And then like we could clear that out, and then we we could just be the bandits, <laughs> the castle adventurers that go up there. All right, I need more than that. that I don't know how big that cave is. Yeah, that's not a very big cave, uh, so I, I need more than like that. I would like Tiger to get webbed up in that tower. I think that would be cool. Yeah, I think the tower was seemed interesting. You guys don't want to see why those people died in that tunnel? Uh, sure. not, not yet. So the issue I have with that tunnel is we don't know how to get out if it closes. So I do not like that tunnel. Mm. Yeah. The other tunnel, sure, let's explore it because we can leave. But until we either know how to get to from one tunnel to the other or leave when putting the arm straight up, it's a bad plan. I think we could figure it out as long as we keep some people on the outside. Yeah, so we can reopen well, what, it if we need to. What was on the ground level before we got to the, the cliff? Um, so I'll, I'll do a quick recap oh. of what you guys saw on the way up the mountain. There was so, a ruined tower at the very bottom down on the path yep. near the lake. Then there was a cave entrance about halfway up. There was a like collapsed building entrance a little farther than that. So, like, I'd, but, I'd be interested in power. checking out all of those things, on, like, in our direct path. There was the cave. Uh, the building was which one? Was it this one all the way up here? Oh, I'm uh, even looking at your map. Hold on. I have, like, a different map than you guys do. So. Well, yeah. But yeah, the bottom one that's the 12 and a half feet is the tower outside of, or before even going up the cliff face. The one that's almost directly above the outreached hand was the cave. Was the building kind of the last platform before going the last bit up, or was it somewhere else? Um, Here. Oh, okay, it's over there. Um, and actually, although you'd have to like off road it to get over there because there's no bridge across this this river here, um, you you actually could so, see yeah, that there's a there is actually a trail here that seems yeah. to go to a cave, but it's not it's like the other side of the waterfall. As far as you can tell, it's not accessible from the side you went up on. Um. Actually, there might be... Let me see what else you would see. That'd be the main thing. Oh, I guess you see a cave down there, too. Okay. And then up top, I mean, like, these were the towers, for example, that you saw on either side of the... Yeah. Road. But there are there are more towers along the walls, too. Uh, there was a big, like, untouched tower near the pyramid you saw that had the big bronze doors. Uh, there's plenty of runes up there. I don't know. There, there was, you know... Wilderness-type stuff, outdoor-type stuff, there's, there's plenty you could just kind of wander around and explore. It'd be kind of unfocused, but who knows what you might find. So, it is a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to be the, the moneymaker, but... Who knows? There's a lot to learn. Or you could uh, hire someone, uh, I don't know, get some rumors in town or something. Compare the rumors you all found. I don't know what you all got. Got a lot of rumors. Uh, you do know somewhere up there is apparently, oh, that's where he should have taken I totally forgot. That's where he would have taken you, but whatever. Um. Apparently he didn't want to spend the money. There's actually an inn up top. <laughs> People know about it. It would have been northwest of where the pyramid was. There's a guy who runs an inn up there. 100% where where Moose would have taken you had I not 
blanked on that, but you can go check that out. Do some drinking and gambling. Or you can just, you know, find the caveman slayer and murder them. Is it just in the ruins of the city? Yeah. Uh, so it would be pretty common knowledge where it is. It's it's outside the walls to the northwest. So it's not built in the ruins. It's built like right outside the city. Okay. So that's not the end of the lost. No, the end no. of the lost is somewhere underground. Okay. This is the uh, the sign so of the there. broken head. Is the name of that, and it's run by a guy named Kronos Kettlebelly. This is commonly enough known that people can almost give you directions. Basically, the road you're on, you keep going north past the pyramid till it takes you out the other end of town, and then go west. It, you'll see it. So anyway, cool. All right, what? Uh, la, 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 la. If you went, all right. So I heard check out the cave, but then I heard basically every other single thing listed. <laughs> uh, it sounded like sounded like you were kind of going in order of going up the mountain, though, right? Yes. That would be what I would do. I would do the like the rune tower on the ground, and then the cave, and then the building. Okay. But I have no idea if those are single room events or not. Sure. Um, let, let's let's say and I'm not saying you would, but let's say you blew it all through that in 30 minutes because it's all nothing. Um, and you get to the top, and now you're up in the city. Once you're up in the city, what what would you focus on? Probably. Then I would take Eric's suggestion to go down the stairway that doesn't trap us in and kill us necessarily. Okay. Agreed. Cool. That's what I need to know. I mean, I understand what Adam's saying. We might spend a couple hours the open the other way, maybe close, have someone outside close it up to see if that reveals a way to open it from the inside or not. Just as a quick check. But yeah, I think having still, that info is good. I still what argue I down there. the way we know how to get out is the way we go in right now. Yeah. Um. So from the... It looks like from the bottom you can go up on the other side of the um, waterfall, maybe. Yeah. I, I'm not sure exactly where up. From the top, is there a way down? And if so, where is it on the map? Are you say really you, you you saying down to get to the other side? There does not yeah, seem to be. Yes. You could do some mountain climbing, but otherwise, no, no trail. So the other side does not go all the way to the top, really. It doesn't seem to. It seems to go up to about that one cave. At least, you know, from standing at a distance and looking. Um, something I don't think I called out. Like, you might have seen it if you were in front. When you went down to the area where you camped, that room was actually lit by your presuming continual light spells that were put there once upon a time. Um... Andrew might have noticed that when he was in front moving down that it was lit up ahead, but I don't know that all of you would have seen that. Although it would have been clear in character that the room was very well lit. It wasn't your lanterns and stuff. I think I actually said they got lanterns out. They didn't need it. I was... I had forgotten it was lit because all your light was down there too. And then the one that the dead bodies were in, you guys had seen that that was lit as well down, uh, down at the bottom of whatever stairway... So I'm pretty sure you guys saw the bottom of that stairway. It was like a 90 foot long stairway. Yep. I think you saw a door at the end. That's probably not something you could have seen at your angle, but uh, you definitely would have seen the light. Anyway, all right. I, I know what I need to prep for, so. Hooray. Next week will probably be more action packed. Or not. Maybe all the cave people will run away from you in fear. Your fancy magics. My true hope is that that first cave is a mushroom cave with the Mushroom King in it. 
I can put the damn mushroom cave in there. Okay, I'd probably all die at level one, though. Hey, Eric, how do the check marks convert into ammo or actual arrow consumption? They you don't. Have to you do have to do it manually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Usually, I, whenever we got back to town, I put it back to I had full, and every two or three times I spent a couple gold to show that I went and bought another quiver of 20. Hmm. Fair enough. You, but I, know, I was more tracking that while we're in the dungeon right now, I've only got this many. Outside the dungeon, I can restock. Mm -hmm. Got it. Did you know you can make your own arrows? <laughs> I can? Yeah. Sounds You've got both me. And your arrows can inflict one additional point of damage. What? <laughs> Teach me the ways. If you're really good at fletching. Well, you know, he's what, a... You have a nice skill. He's at 21. <laughs> there's a chance. Saying there's a chance. <laughs> Dave, do you know about your secret, super secret Dave channel with your super secret rumors? Yes. Okay, good. Brian, do you want to know my super secret rumors? Not necessarily. I just didn't know if we covered that after you got here or if you hadn't seen it. Yep, I saw it uh, a couple days ago. It's uh, it's full of rumor. Yeah, some of those rumors probably make no. Some of those rumors. <laughs> if you have a follow up question on some of them, I might like someone might be saying, so and so did this, and you're like, who the hell is so and so? I could probably give yeah. you some overview of that, but you'd have to ask me about it. Otherwise, I could write a novel about everything. I think everyone but Eric has a plot hook. I'll have to think of something for him. They're not they're not real in-depth plot hooks, but uh, at least yeah. not on your end of things. Most of them do tie into something in the actual dungeon, though, so they're not just made out of nothing. Okay. Well, 